All right, welcome back to some more Danganronpa V3. Um, so last time we ended our investigation and are now heading to the courtroom. I got my Vita like uh, in a position where I'm gonna be looking down because the game screen on the PC lags just a hair where I need to pay attention to the screen more so on like real-time action sort of stuff. So, since I know how non-stop debates work, um, <laughs> and as well as the frickin' rhythm thing, if I, I don't even remember if that was even in the second one. The second game, I don't remember as much except that it was harder, um, haven't really seen too much gameplay besides myself, so, um, but I know someone that sounds like they're gonna go through the entire series is gonna be playing the game, or is playing the game series, so I might watch him play that. <laughs> um, but as I said in one of the comments, I think, in a, or in the description in the video before, I was gonna dis um, before I start the court, I just wanted to point out there's only two suspects right now that uh, stand out to me on who could have actually have done it. Oh wow, they even have an X on it. Rip. The ultimate who cares. Um, so Gonta is one person that kinda sort of sticks out because of, um, if I go to the truth bullets. Let's see. The sliding door is only opens up a little bit where you can only uh, stick your hand out. Well, Gonta is strong enough to take this ball and probably throw it because it requires uh, a good amount of strength. And uh, I think he could, like, if the door was open to the uh, library still, he could throw that ball into the library, but that could be a setup too in regards. And then the only other person that obviously, like, from the clues we've gathered so far, there could be more that come out of the trial. Hate to say it, but um, Sushi is the only other person that could have done it because while he went into the, or went to investigate who went to the library and stuff like that. Or not who went into the library. Uh, who went uh, into the game room. Um, he could have been down there long enough where uh, Rantaro could have walked into the library and he could have hit him with the ball uh, outside the library, same area where Gonta was at. So, except... Or not same areas where Gonta was at, but... He could have thrown it in that area uh, where Gonta could have thrown it as well. So I feel like it was an outside room scenario, but we'll just have to wait and see. But those are my two suspects at the very beginning of this. So we'll see how this works out. It's this red door, right? I also got three drinks. I got... The chocolate milk. Yummy. I got an icy that's like halfway full still. It's 12:30 at night. Um, but surprisingly, it's still still got a lot, still got a lot in there. So, um, and then I got a coke. So, yeah. Ah, Kaede. I have one more question. Hmm. Do you really think it's one of us? Not just the culprit, but the mastermind as well? Huh? Isn't that what you told me, Sushi? Uh, okay. Yeah, but it's just, that was only my deduction. I don't know if I should trust that. Hmm. Well, I don't know if it's true either, but that's why we need to confirm it. 
If you just dismiss a possibility and look the other way without confirming anything, yeah. then you're just turning your back on the truth. What's the matter? Sushi, you seemed so sure of yourself during the investigation. Sorry. Let's go. I'm sure they're waiting for us inside. And see, that's just getting more suspicious right there why Sushi could be the the uh, murderer, which is kind of outside his, what? like, you wouldn't think that because of how freaking nice he is throughout the thing, but look at Sayaka, and then look at uh, Komeda, is that what his name is, from the second game that turned into a freaking freak, psychotic freak? <laughs> So, this is the Judgment Shrine. Everyone! Careful, everyone! If bad things happen, get behind Gonta! Yoo-hoo! Then give me a piggyback ride! Yoo-hoo! Come on, carry me! Wow. Bitch! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you are so effing annoying. So, are we doing the class trial here, or what? No. Monokuma made it sound like we'd be guided somewhere from here. That is troubling. But Monokuma is nowhere to be seen. What's going on? Uh, is Monokuma, uh, here? Let's see, is there, like, any hidden statues? Can I... Oh! Oh, oh, yeah! Beat the crap out of everything. Beat the crap out of everything, yeah. Take this, these benches out of here. Yeah. Give me more coins. Give me more coins. Stop locking on! I said stop locking on! Like, I have to point. Otherwise, look at this. Stop. Thank you. It's like I have to actually point at it. Otherwise, if I use the, sti the, the stick, um, it just locks right into him, and that's really annoying. Okay, let's uh, investigate the Monokuma statue. This Monokuma statue gives off such a weird vibe. Huh? What? Here we go. That's one way to make an entrance. Is this an elevator? This is. Should have freaking got a blanket at freaking freezing. <laughs> Which is ironic because I've been hot all day. Okay, that kind of helps. I don't wanna. I don't do scary rides. I don't do the ter Tower of Terror. <laughs> it is an elevator after all. I don't want to get on it either. Hmm. Stay behind then. Though I'm sure that'll just be worse for you in the end. I guess. Yeah, that's true. I know. If you desire. However, if everyone wishes to <sighs> run away, I will cooperate as well. No. That's probably not a good idea. There's nowhere to run. As long as that end wall exists, escape's not an option. Hey. It'll be fine. Let's all work together. Remember our promise? We're gonna escape this place and remain good friends afterward. I'll get us out of here. So let's do it. I'm sure we'll be all right. Mm-hmm. Because we make such an incredible team. Huh. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to call myself a man if I was still scared after hearing a girl say that. I'm Kaito Momota. Luminary of the stars. Bring it! 
I'll show them how I, Kaito Momota, Luminary of the Stars, lives! <laughs> Don't you mean die? <laughs> Dumbass! Don't say something all ominous like that! I'm ready! Yeah! We've come so far already. We just gotta do it. So let's do it! Cue the green screen. Okay. We have no choice. We can't turn back now. Full of determination, we all step forward. Even as we walked toward the elevator, I, blah, 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 I didn't mean to press the screen like that. What? What did I say? I was shaking with anxious dread. But I kept going, because I decided to fight. And then everyone had boarded the elevator. I'm really wondering how this is going to look and how this turns out as well as what the music's oh, like. Oh, that's super cool. It's actually an elevator. It's the Tower of Terror. Even so, this elevator is going pretty far down. <laughs> We're falling. I wonder how far we will plummet. Uh, I suddenly have to go to the bathroom real bad. I don't think there's going to be bathrooms down here. Or bathroom breaks, that is. By all means, go ahead. <laughs> of course. A robot wouldn't understand how inappropriate that is. E as we waited to reach our destination, I whispered to Sushi. Um, Shuichi? About that talk from before. What? I think everyone is afraid of learning the truth. Hmm. But the people who are willing to find the truth are the ones who can decide their fate. If you never know the lies from the truth, then you can't choose a path. You won't even know you're on a path. So... Fight for the truth, even if it is frightening. I know you can do this. If you're scared, borrow the strength of others who will be there to help you. Think of everyone you're helping, and let that be your strength. I used to be like you. Before a piano concert, I was always so nervous that I thought I would vomit. I have to stop right there because I kind of know that feeling. <laughs> but then I would remember all the people I've made smile with my performances. Kaede. Alright, let's go. It's better to end bad stuff like this as soon as possible. Those words were mainly for me. To inspire me so I would not turn back. After some time, the elevator finally came to a halt. The doors slowly opened to reveal what awaited us on the other side. Why, hello, Ben! <clears throat> Welcome to the class trial! Yay! Oh boy, the class trial is finally starting! Finally, a game that actually feels like a game! Bingo! Just as the prophecy foretold. Got it? Listen up. From here on, things are gonna get so violent you'll wish you could turn back. No way! That's not true. They won't there won't be any gory or violent scenes. I'm positive. Well, until the very end. This is an authentic replica of a courtroom. Hmph. Hmph, what a bad taste. Jeez! Oh, Why are you making us do this? Is this fun for you? <laughs> Definitely for Monokuma. Psycho pop! Of course! Putting strangers in life or death scenarios is the best entertainment! Oh, I forgot to frickin' start my iPad my iPad up. Oops. Just realized that. You're the worst of the worst! You are seriously the worst! 
Actually, um, since I forgot to do that, I'm going to stop the video real quick, and then I'm going to start up the iPad so that I know what the heck time I'm at to know when I should be taking breaks or whatever, like edit out parts, because, yeah, that's going to definitely be happening in this probably. So, yeah, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, it's back, so it's on now, so uh, have it in a different spot, so it might be kind of awkward, but that's because I got a bunch of drinks, and I feel like I need as a lot of drinks. My throat's just been very thirsty. <laughs> Worst or not, those who have fun are the real winners in this world. <laughs> it doesn't matter what terrible things you do or are done to you. As long as you're having fun! Oh, I see. Wow, this is so sickening, it's almost refreshing. So, how do we get this game going? Well, now. There are podiums over there. Please stand behind the one with your name. Here comes the, uh, we're gonna do this music. Following Monokuma's instructions, we headed to our respective podiums. As I walked toward my podium, an, Im an image of his body flashed in my mind. Rantaro. He died without knowing his own ultimate talent. No, he was murdered by some horrible, low-life scumbag. I'll never forgive his killer. That's why we're going to expose the mastermind and end this killing game. That's all I can do for Rantaro now. His killer is in this room with us. Wow. Intense. The mastermind who's controlling Monokuma and forcing us to play this killing game. I don't think I'll ever be fully prepared to find out who that person is. But we have to find out who it is so we can lift our suspicions of each other. So we can end this killing game. That's why I'm here. I can't show any fear here. I must fight till the bitter end. I will face this life or death class trial. Yeah, sure, why why the hell not? <laughs> I'll save here because why the hell not too. I don't wanna overwrite the current save and then something bad happens with the recording. Although it would be really bad if something bad happened with recording. You can change the difficulty? Really? I don't remember that in the second game, but... So, I didn't actually read harsher penalties and more choices, but more rewards, too! Thrilling, chaotic action, but more rewards, too. Thrills, chills, kills! <laughs> yeah, wait. I actually have skills that I can buy? Wow, I did not know that's how the game worked with skills. Well, this changes everything. Alright, increases maximum influence a little. So, I get seven hearts instead. And that increases the focus. What's this do? Slightly increase the time limit in each phase, effective during all parts of last trial. So. I could waste all my, uh, my petals. Increases amount of influence recovered by right answers, effective during non-stop debates and choices. That sounds good, actually. Cool and compose... Composed. Makes the reticle shake less. Effective during non-stop and mass panic debates. Can't be compliant with tranquility. Downshift slows the speed of the reticle. <laughs> so
So slows the speed of the reticle, increases the speed of the reticle. Can't be combined with downshift or upshift. Trigger happy. <laughs> Decreases the delay after using truth bullets or truth blades. I forget truth blades. I I remember them being in the last game though. Effective during non-stop mass panic and rebuttal to showdown. There is a lot of skills! Holy crap! That is a lot of skills. Look the screen. Slower. During fever time. Ooh. All parts of class trial. Slowly recovers influence gauge well. Concent while concentrating and during fever time? What? Really? That seems like a good skill. Am I delusional? <laughs> uh, mind's eye reveals V points. St. Nico's ability silences all conversations except those the reticle is on. Instantly silences loud voices, effective during mass panic. Keyword in the first speaker's argument will be shown from the start. Version 3.0? Oh, God. I hate Hangman's Gambit. Increases the amount of letter cubes that can be acquired at once. There's so many freaking different things! That's right, the blade had to do with trying to back off the opponent or something. Tension gauge will increase at a faster rate. Hmm. This is a tough choice. I kind of want to go with... Maybe I should go with the easy... Attentive influence and extraordinary. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I'll go with this. I'll go with that. Set that. Set that. And go for the trigger happy. There we go. Alright, let us begin. Because I'll view the handbook when time needs time comes. That was a lot of skills. That's like this game has the most skills in it, I think. And I did I thought you had to get them through uh um Level Let's up. begin with the basic explanation of the class trial. During the trial, you'll present your arguments for who the culprit is and vote for who done it. Vote correctly, and only the blackened will be punished. Ugh. If you pick the okay. wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will graduate from this academy. Also, refusing to vote will result in your death. So you better vote for someone. Even if it means yourself? Now let's get this crazy awesome, crazy awesome trial underway! Where's the thrills, chills, and kills speech? So, it's starting, huh? <laughs> oh man. I haven't been in a trial in, like, forever. <laughs> Why were you in a trial? Oh, so you have experience with trials? Yeah, <laughs> since I'm a leader of evil and stuff, <laughs> I've done a lot of bad things. So, what are we supposed to do? 
Where do we even start? Well, we gotta bring in evidence or something. Gonta never done trial before. Not sure where to begin. Well, the thing is, is how the trials usually work. They usually go, it's that guy. He did it. And then from there, I try to rebuttal that statement and say, it's not that guy. It's this guy. <laughs> First, let's breathe in and breathe out. We need to remember our no, no, no's. <laughs> no, no, no. No pushing, no running, no talking. Well, why no talking? This has to do with a bunch of talking. But communication is the foundation of any discussion. Exactly. We should not worry about our procedure, especially since this is not a normal trial. Each of us will be serving as a potential culprit, lawyer, prosecutor, and jury member. Hmm. Let us proceed with that in mind, shall we? Then might I offer the first topic? Sure. Don't fucking get ahead of us! You trying to start some shit? Shut up! We need to start somewhere or Monokuma's gonna get mad and then just throw us all out. <laughs> calm down. How about we listen first? Yeah. Atua has spoken. He says it is vital that we hear everyone's testimony. I'm a good listener because my ears are clean. Once, I cleaned them so hard, they bled. Uh, that's nice. I'll begin the conversation then. There's something I found curious. Oh? Why, I wonder, didn't the culprit take advantage of the first blood perk? I do wonder that. Were they really afraid? I thought that was strange, too. I bet they just wanted to do a class trial real bad. <laughs> then Monokuma's the culprit, the doi. Because this whole class trial was his idea. Oh, yeah! Easy peasy! I'm a fucking genius! Wait, is it even possible for Monokuma to be the culprit? Only for the last trial. I would never do anything to you guys direct Oops, even if directly. you can't it's a different story for the person controlling you right hmm? is it possible that the mastermind controlling monokuma killed rantaro mastermind was that oh brother <laughs> i don't know any mastermind you never heard of him don't play dumb with me. Who's the mastermind controlling you guys? The mastermind, huh? Odds are, it's one of us. It's Keyboy over here. Everyone else thinks so, too. Why would a robot control a robot? Does everyone really think that? <laughs> we'll get to the bottom of this. Before we determine the mastermind, we must uncover the culprit. Then, we could start by determining the sequence of events? Sure. Let's take a closer look at the circumstances of Rantaro's death. Gonta agrees with Shuichi. After all, Shuichi is ultimate detective. Then let us start by reviewing the incident. Alright, let's do this. We can find the mastermind if we work together. When this class trial is over, we'll know exactly who the mastermind is. I'm not sweating or anything like that. Quit being nervous. And now, the class trial has begun! As things progress during each class trial, non-stop debates will occur. Don't stop. Non-stop debate. During non-stop debates, characters will speak one after another without pause. Let's see, we got the weak spot, the truth cylinder with the bullets that go inside, and the truth bullet, the time limits right there on the corner, and there's the influence and focus gauge. So pretty much same stuff, except 
it looks like at the top left corner is where the dialogue uh, dots take place this time. It's up to you to unearth any lies or contradictions in their statements. Uh, keep going. You'll have to use the truth bullets you gathered to refute what they say. Any relevant truth bullets you found during the investigation will be loaded into the truth cylinder. Use the L to aim the reticle and press and the fire with the triangle. Aim for the gold words displayed in their statements. Those are the weak spots. There's a chance that the lies or contradictions are hidden within those weak spots. But remember, you might not be able to refute them all, and you have to use the right truth bullet. Compare everyone's statements to the truth bullets you have, and shoot your truth bullet at the proper weak spot. Note that if you run out of time, you will automatically fail, so please be careful! Oh! I almost forgot! The new element! Oh boy, here we go. During the trial, you can concentrate to make time slow. That's not new. This will also reveal a small red dot within weak spots called V-Point. Okay, that's new. I was wondering, what the hell is V-Point? If you hit that with the correct truth bullet, you'll get an awesome V-Counter! Bullseye! V-Counters really improve your score and the number of monocoins you earn. So try that out! During the non-stop debate, press start. Uh, start will bring up the controls. Give them a look! So wait, what was it? Don't stop the bait. Don't stop. Non stop the bait. That is a lot of bullets for your first one. Body was found. Just before the time limit, right? He was killed in the library. Rantaro was alone in the library. The code brick could have snuck up on him. What was he even doing in the library anyway? He was opening that moving bookcase for one reason. Because he knew about the hidden door. That means Rantaro was masterminding this whole thing. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. No, 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 no. There's definitely a contradiction in one of those statements. That last one. If I present the right evidence, I can blow away that contradiction. Rantaro's body was found. Okay, that's how you do it. Just before the time. He was killed in a live that's where the V-point is. Almost there. Moving bookcase for one reason. Cause he knew about the hidden door. That means rent oh, yes. no, that's, that's wrong. Did I get the V-point? Because I feel like I didn't. I didn't get close enough, I guess, because I that was pretty close, but I guess not close enough. Wait a minute, yeah. Huh? Why? Where was the key card? Because Rantaro didn't have the card key to open the hidden door. Card key, key card, same thing. You'd think the mastermind would have that card key on him, right? Yep. Perhaps the culprit took the card key after killing Rantaro. But none of the pictures show Rantaro holding the card key. So I don't really think he had the key at all. The only thing I could say is unless the... Well, no. That would be a contradiction to me because if I said if the killer took the card key, um, then that would mean uh, they would be caught in the camera. Also... If the Mastermind had died there, this killing game would have already ended. This is true, too. You are correct. The possibility of him being the Mastermind is quite low. Then how Rantaro know about Hidden Door? He probably found it just like we did. Maybe he stumbled across it in the library. You know, like how Shuichi did? Exactly. Or maybe the Mastermind told him about it. Hmm? What? Why would the mastermind tell him that? To lure Rantaro to the library and kill him. Huh? Does that mean the culprit 
culprit and the mastermind are one and the same? Hmm. That does seem plausible. But I still have to say, why would the uh, mastermind kill someone if everyone else was going to die and they wouldn't die because they are, like, technically not forced into the game? So, it makes no sense in that regard either. So, mastermind has no reason to be killing. It's very likely the Mastermind knew about Kaede and Shuichi's trap. The Mastermind knew about our trap this whole time? This case may have become the perfect crime thanks to your hidden cameras. Hmm. The Mastermind knew about your trap and exploited it to commit their crime. So after the Mastermind lured Rantaro and murdered his ass, they used Kai Idiot and Puichi's hidden cameras to arrange the perfect crime. Funny. Did they really take advantage of our trap, though? Is this really the perfect crime? Are we in an unsolvable mystery? I guess this is a dead end. Oh, no. Wait, don't give up that easily. We already know the culprit is the mastermind. We gotta work together to find the mastermind. Then we can end this killing game. You yap about teamwork and all that, but you still think one of us is the mastermind. Yes, and I know that's a horrible thought. But that's why I want to end all the terrible things happening to us. I'll defeat the mastermind and end this dumb killing game. I'll... I'll even use this class trial to do that. Kaede. <laughs> wow. Looks like you're determined to face even a cold hard truth. Hmm. Then here it comes. The cold hard truth. Oh? Huh? I already figured out who killed Rantaro. What? <laughs> Monokuma's like, there's only been one non-stop debate. We haven't even done any other stuff. <laughs> Why are you surprised? Cause if he's right, that would make this the fastest class trial to date. Exactly. <laughs> How fast was the previous record anyway? Real fast, let me tell you. He was like a leaf on the wind. Oh yeah, I guess now he's one with the wind. Yeah, I think about him this time of year too. Hmm. The way he soared through the enemy fleet all badass, just to die like a little punk. Shut it, you weirdos. This is an important conversation. Kokichi. Are you serious about knowing who the culprit is? Yep. So, we all agree that the culprit knew about Kaede and Shuichi's trap, right? No shit! That's why they're not in any of the pictures. So who is it? So whoever knew about the hidden cameras is the culprit. I knew this was coming. So who the hell is it? I freaking said that. Sushi freaking went up to the, or was the one that, only one that walked to the th uh, place or whatever, so. It's you! What? Wait, what? You made the cameras used for the trap, right? Oh my god, she didn't even know where they were hidden, though. Obviously, whoever made the cameras knew about the blind spots. No. Before breakfast was the only time someone would be able to sneak by. Wh what the hell brought this on all of a sudden? That's what I'd like to know. I, I just designed the cameras. I didn't know they'd get set up in the library. Yeah, that's why I'm kind of confused in the fact, in that fact as well. Whenever. She frickin' saw that we used them in the library. She even said that was a stupid idea. If someone asked me to make cameras, I'd totally ask what they were for. She didn't ask. How come 
Jean never asked what the cameras were for. Huh? Huh? I, I, I pulled an all-nighter making them and afterward just sort of passed out. You're getting awfully worked up. Look at you. You're sweating. Well, she is being freaking cornered by you and everyone else that's like looking at her pretty much. I'm always wet. I'm just feeling extra sensitive like these big boobs of mine. If someone's so aggressive, you're kind of a wimp, huh, me? <laughs> Come on! Pull me up the hook already. D -d Do you want money? Is that it? <laughs> Your pathetic excuses are consistent with those of a common male criminal. Oh, damn. Everyone's starting to suspect Mew, but... Is that really okay? No. From here on out, blue-colored weak spots will appear. Wait, what? If we call the weak spots you've seen up until now argue points... Oh, this was something from the second game, but I can't remember that much on it. Then these blue-colored weak spots will be called agree points. You gotta agree with them, that's right. When shooting agree points with truth bullets, you need to flip your way of thinking. Instead of arguing that the other person's testimony contains lies or mistakes, you're agreeing with them with that logic. Please fire the truth bullets that prove the other person's testimony is correct. When your truth bullets merge with the statements, they will complement each other and result in a consent. From now on, you must infer whether it's best to argue or agree based on what's being debated. You can also V consent, so if you, you're confident, give that a shot. I'll try to frickin' V consent. Thank you for your time. Respectfully, System. <laughs> okay, non-stop debate start. Why don't you just admit it already? You're the culprit, aren't you, Mew? I did not mean to do that. No way! That's not possible! So you knew nothing about the trap in the- I wanna actually- Whoa, 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 whoa. No, I did not Library? wanna- I'm telling you, I had no idea! Stop shooting! That's what I wanted to do. Okay, so... During the Bonnery discovery, Kibo and Ryomo were in their separate rooms. Not like it matters. Cause I never went to the library, okay? During the body announcement, Kiyo, Miu, Kirumi, and Sumigi were in the dining hall. Miu was in the middle of a bil of building a remote control gadget. The person who made the cameras would have known their blind spots too. Yeah, well, I didn't make the cameras either. Wait. Mew's so shaken up that she's starting to dig herself deeper in with her own lies. I need to take her side. R rushing to judgment only make things worse. Why don't you just admit it already? You're the culprit, aren't you, Mew? No way! That's not possible! So you knew nothing about the trap in the library? I'm telling you, I had no idea! Not like it matters. Because I never went to the library, okay? Mm. V. I agree with yeah! you. Yeah! Vici. That's a V hit. I don't think Mew went to the basement either. Right, Q? That felt freaking good. <laughs> of course she didn't. Mew was in the dining hall during the murder. I saw her there while dining on what I thought would be my last supper. I find it freaking hilarious that it was Vinavidi Vici. Um, like something from uh, V6. <laughs> the pasta on the menu Hope I wasn't like too loud when I yelled V. Birthday cake. <laughs> Don't feel bad for her. She got to eat her tasty grandkid on his birthday. 
That's too sad to make sense. Getting freaking random messages everywhere, it looks like, and it's like, hopefully no I notifications are going off. Right now, you're on the threshold. So there you have it. Muse alibi. Exactly. You fucking slug! Why didn't you say so earlier? <laughs> Good job, Kaede. Guess I shouldn't have judged you by your lackluster rack. I don't know if that should be a compliment or what. What Gilgamesh level condescension? <laughs> but which Grail War are you from? Wow, another reference we don't get. You must be a hardcore loser. Oh, sorry. Sometimes my hobbies just sort of slip in. Hey, don't be acting all cocky, Kokichi. You put my ass in the hot seat earlier. How about you just keep your fucking mouth shut, you lying little abortion? Well, I will say at least we are freaking getting on Mew's good side a little bit. <laughs> God, that acting. <laughs> hey, I feel a lot better now. Oh, brother. Cool your jets, kid. Seriously. Samugi and Kirumi were both in the dining hall as well. We can dismiss those four as potential culprits if they were together the entire time. Mm-hmm. No, not the entire time. At one point, Samugi went to the restroom. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, so you brought that up after all. Of course. It's true. I went to the restroom closest to the dining hall. Oh, did I hear that right? The restroom, you say? Uh, what about it, Monokuma? Excellent! I was waiting for this moment. I'm getting so excited right now! What? Ew! Why? Yeah. Did you take a firm dump, or was it a soft one? That's just disgusting. Why are you assuming she was dropping a deuce in there? But I really did just go to the restroom, not the basement, you know? Also, I don't think I was there long enough to be suspicious, right? You're the ultimate cosplayer, though. You could have just disguised yourself as someone else while you were out. Mmm. About that. Disguised? No, no. I don't do disguises. She doesn't do disguises. I don't think that's possible, and I know the reason why. <laughs> you don't want to know. Uh, sudden st stomach. <laughs> she, 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 that's why she went to the bathroom. Okay, can we pick it? Oh, have to I press triangle. I thought I had to press X. Sumugi can only cosplay as fictional characters. Yeah, because she has this very, 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 very one in a billion, uh, <laughs> because there's only seven cases of it in the world, one in a billion or eight cases, whatever. <laughs> Cosplay is supposed to be in the first place. Lately, some people prefer to cosplay as non-fictional characters, which is unforgivable. It's so unforgivable that I break out in cospox if I even attempt it. Yeah, the cospox was pretty gross. I see. If that's the case, then there's no way you could have been in disguise. Yep. Sorry about that, Samugi. I just thought it was something to check. Oh, no, no. I... Ryoma's freaking got his A-game on, in my opinion, a little bit. Oh, no, it's fine. I'm not bothered by it at all. Aw, Samugi is so nice. She's way better than you. <laughs> Fuck you, too. <laughs> Getting back on topic... We now have alibis for the people in the dining hall. Mm-hmm. 
So we know that Kirumi, Samugi, Miu, and Kyo can't be the culprit. Yeah. Congratulations to the four of you. You can all leave now. Bye. No. Huh? Can they? So what about the swines who went to the basement? They're all suspicious, right? Which of us went to the basement? Well, when Shuichi and I were on lookout, we saw... Kaito, Gonta, Maki, Tenko, Himiko, Angie, and Rantaro. So, seven people in total. So the culprit is among those seven? And make that six, because obviously one of them's the victim. Yeah, really. Excluding Rantaro, one of the six people who headed into the basement. Is the mastermind of this killing game? The person who's making us endure all these terrible things? Why not torture the truth out of them? It would be the quickest method. Damn, that is cold. Wait, please! No torture! My tolerance for pain is actually really, really low. Which is kind of surprising. I'll tell you everything! Anything! Just please don't hurt me! <coughs> please just tell us what happened. If the culprit is among that group, then wouldn't Maki be the most suspicious? Just look at her. She can definitely kill someone. That's cold, too. Stop being so stupid. Culper could easily be anyone, like Kaito. Jeez, just point your fingers at everyone. <laughs> what are you talking about? There's no way I'm the culprit! Wow, that face. That is that is a really freaking creepy face. <laughs> Who's the culprit? Who? I don't know. Gonta is gentleman. Gentlemen not hurt people. It's not me either. Murder sounds like way too much work. I have an alibi. You do? Who's the culprit for fuck's sake? <laughs> we need to calm down. If everyone talks all at once, then we can't discuss anything. Exactly. It's alright, Kaede. We just need to listen to everyone's statements. <laughs> he still has that freaking face. Look at that. You can do this. Right? <clears throat> Listen to everyone's statements? That's right. I can pick out everyone's voices as they talk over each other. I only went because I was invited. Why don't you ask the shady guy who invited me? Oh, damn. What? You mean me? But I just said it wasn't me! Don't thrust the blame onto me! You degenerate males and you're thrusting! Ugh! He didn't even say it was you. I'm not a bad girl, really. If you don't believe me, ask my mommy. Really? I have an alibi. Why do you have an alibi? What makes you have an alibi? I am not the culprit too. Oh no! All three people are talking at once. Oh! <laughs> Everyone is clamoring to prove their innocence. There's a panic in the courtroom. Oh, that's right. It's time. You will now be thrown into a mass panic debate. What the hell is a mass panic debate? During the mass panic debate, three debates will happen at the same time. Oh, God. But remain calm. It's just like a non-stop debate. Yeah, except there's three freaking people talking at the same time. You're just hearing triple the opinions. Simple, right? Hell no! Aim at the conversation you really want to hear and concentrate to listen more clearly. Sort through everyone's opinions, find the lie or contradiction, and refute it. You can also use V-Counter, so if you're confident, you can give that a shot. Sorry to take up your time. Thanks for being a sport about it. <laughs> what? 
Oh boy. Mass panic debate. Are you talking about me? <laughs> we were having a strategy meeting together, remember? Rentaro's the only one who left in the middle of it. Robots like Kibo? None of us there could have killed him. I don't think that's the right idea. All the different voices are confusing me, but Kaido's statement was suspicious, right? Wait, what? It was? I'll be fine as long as I stay calm and listen for everyone's unique voice. Okay. I'm checking everything first. No. What's Maki's account? Before the murder, seven people went to the basement. He locked himself in the room. Rantaro left to go to the bathroom after Fido and Tinko. Taro, the only people left in the game room. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. What was it that he... Okay, yeah, definitely... Definitely that. It's gotta be that. It's, uh, that button, okay. Where'd my... Okay, there it is. <laughs> it's like, where's my aim at? Yes, we are. We were having a strategy meeting together, remember? Rentaro's the only one who Got him. Except I didn't hit that damn V. Oh, well. I was that... That much off it. That much. Wait a minute, Kaito. Wasn't there someone else who disappeared other than Rentaro? Yes. Maybe already forgot. Gonta also left during the strategy meeting. <laughs> yeah, he locked himself up in the AV room and... Hey, wait a sec! Idiot! <laughs> is that right, Gonta? Yep, that is right. That is right. Yes, Gonta watched Bug Movie to A fill like... Gonta with fight, so Gonta can fight Monokuma! Or did he watch Ants? <laughs> Were you trying to imagine yourself as a huge mantis with swords for hands? Oh, come on! How is looking at bugs supposed to put you in a fighting mood? A uh, terrible idea! Like putting ketchup on a hot dog! Hey! But why did you lock the door? Cause going to need focus. Hmm. <laughs> Everyone suspect Gonta? Why? Hmm. Because you don't have an alibi. Hmm. Oh, Gonta just need alibi? Okay, Gonta will get alibi. Just tell Gonta where to find it. <laughs> oh my god. The way this debate is going, this will be difficult to repeat. <laughs> What will you do? Without an alibi, we'll all choose you. Oh, someone's a poet. Gonta, please understand that in order to reveal the truth, you must also participate. But Gonta not sure where to start. You just have to tell everyone why you couldn't have done it. If you're not the culprit and we all vote for you, then we're dead too. Mm-hmm. Our lives are riding on your word. You got this. Seriously. I honestly A, I hope Ryoma doesn't like die anytime soon because I wanna freaking 
do stuff. I want to like hang out with him. <laughs> okay, Gonto will try for everyone's sake. And meanwhile, I think I know what items I got that she would like, and I don't want to hang out with her right now. Cut it out, you fucking bobblehead! <laughs> this debate is getting loud and heated, but if I just focus on everyone's voice, then hopefully we can expose the mastermind. Don't stop debate, start! Five bullets. Culprit. Cause to leave AV room, Gonta must walk through game room where friends are. To even reach hallway. If you can't get to the hallway, you can't go to the library. AV room's got more than one entrance, though. There should have been a door facing the hallway too. The sliding door across from the rear entrance, correct? With that sliding door. You can quickly go in and out of the library. Then he got past the camera somehow. And killed Rantaro. Well, that's settled. Let's go home. Is not settled? Gonta not culprit! <laughs> Could Gonta have gone to the library from the AV room without anybody noticing? No. Could he really have done it? This is the right thing, right? Sliding hall leads the door was poorly made and only opens wide enough to slip an arm through. Otherwise, the other thing that I'm thinking is that uh, yeah. To leave AV room, Gonta must walk through game room where friends are to even reach hallway. If you can't get to the hallway, you can't go to the library. AV room's got more than one entrance, though. There should have been a door facing the hallway, too. The sliding door across from the rear entrance, correct? With that sliding door... Gotcha! No, that's wrong! Break! Talk about a breakthrough. <laughs> it's not possible to use the sliding door. Using sliding door with sliding door. <laughs> That's what made it a little confusing because it's like you look at the you look at the truth bullet and it's called freaking sliding door and then what I was refuting was but with that sliding door. It's like why is that it doesn't make sense except when you look at the freaking description. <laughs> Did you mean to say sass? I am. Um, think you left out an S. The sliding door always jams. You're only able to open it a crack. Mm-hmm. The only part of your body that would be able to go through is your arm. And there was no indication of the door being forced. There was dust on the track. Yep. In other words, the chance they came out the sliding door is zero. Uh, I see, so I made a mistake. How rare. It's not that rare for you to make a mistake. Your entire existence is a mistake. Oh, damn, that is a burn. You vicious little... Seriously, that was hard. That was really cold. That was... If Gonta couldn't use the sliding door, then in order to get to the library... That was freezing. Holy crap. You'd have to go through the game room, but I didn't see him at all. Mm-hmm. See? Gonta tell you he not culprit. There is one thing that's bothering me with that, though. No, we cannot confirm that just yet. I wonder if she realizes that. Huh? My apologies, Gonta. I do not mean to put you on the spot like this, but... Because I promise to do my best, I will fulfill that responsibility. Are you saying Gonta could still be the culprit? I pointed out something, so maybe she's pointing that out. There is the possibility that Gonta killed Rantaro from the AV room. 
Mm -hmm. From the AV room? Hell. Aha! Uh -huh. I didn't know that was a possibility. Not only could he have killed Rantaro from the AV room, but also... He would not appear in any of the pictures from the cameras placed in the library. Yep, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, perfect! But wait, then how did Gota kill him? Well, it's obvious to this glamorous girl genius. That may be explained for these dimwits. Oh, brother. First, I will explain the layouts of both the AV room and the library. The sliding door in the AV room faces the rear door of the library. Okay, my mouth can... My, you can see my mouse. This is what I was talking about. You have the AV room. This door can't open. Yet, it can only open right there. And Gonta could stick his arm out this door. And if this door was open, could freaking just go... Whoosh, because of how powerful his strength is. Like, considering he can lift a manhole cover. Like, with ease. Because of this... It is possible for Gonta to have killed Rantara while he was in the AV room. Thanks for the chart, because I kind of wanted that, like, whenever, uh, I explained this stuff, like, at the very beginning of the episode. Um, but how, though? In order for the murder to take place, the rear door of the library must be opened. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, wait a sec. Isn't that impossible? The AV room sliding door doesn't open, so you can't get into the hallway. Uh, uh, uh. If you cannot enter the hallway, how would you open the rear door to the library? Although you cannot fit your whole body through the sliding door, an arm would suffice. It would be possible if you used a particular item in the AV room. What item? I don't remember what's in the AV room. Oh my god, I just remembered. Freaking Sushi pointed it out and he freaking was like, I was just thinking out loud. He freaking said that you could use the, uh, the screen projector like a pole and that way you would be able to open the door. Is what I'm thinking. Um, do you mean that one thing? No, I guess not. I don't understand what you're referring to. Please state your opinion more open, clearly. If an arm could fit, then surely something longer and slimmer could fit too, yes? <laughs> I'M EMBARRASSED! <laughs> Crap. Um, The speaker? What the hell is that? Is it the speaker? Maybe they used... No! That seems impossible. But with a thin rod, you could reach through the sliding door to open the rear door. That's what I was trying to point at! Was something that convenient readily available, though? They all think less of me now. I freaking pointed at that damn projector! Uh, that screen! Didn't I? Do I have to, like, frickin'... I get it. Oh my god. I pointed at that! I frickin' pointed at that, and I said it! You all saw that! What the hell? That's like the littlest frickin' pixel you have to point at. That is correct. You can make a long pull if you roll up the screen. I said that. I pointed at it. And no one's, and you said, well, what, what are you pointing at? I don't know what you're pointing at. <laughs> it would be possible to reach the library door with it. I guess you had to point at the actual frickin' screen, even though you would think you'd have to point at the top part of it, but whatever. If you use the rolled up screen to reach the library's rear door, I guess that makes more sense after thinking about it. I should have pointed at the screen, not the top part that is more of a 
pole thing that if you've seen it at schools or whatever, the projection screen rolls up into it and it becomes like just this solid cylinder cylindrical thing. Then you but, can open it. Yep, that's true. The screen itself is quite heavy, but that would not have been a problem for Gonta. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no problem for Gonta. <laughs> Thanks for uh, agreeing with us. Oh, nice. How honest. But if you open the library door, the camera would take your picture. Only if you walk inside. Uh, actually, the camera wouldn't be triggered just by opening the door. Mm-hmm. Shuichi and Kaede's pictures were like that as well. The shutter only went off when someone set foot into the room. Okay, so it was possible to open the library door, but where does that get us? Gonta still couldn't have gotten from the AV room to the library. Gonta just... did not enter the library. He killed Rantara while he was still in the AV room. If Gonta killed Rantaro in the late library while he was still in the AV room, then... So does that mean Gonta threw the shot put ball? Wait! What did I say? Why would anyone do something so crazy like throw a... Wait! That's actually not crazy at all! Throwing a shot put ball is totally normal! Yes. The act of throwing a shot put ball could lead one to use it as a weapon. Even if a person couldn't fit through the space, a shot put ball certainly would. Yes, it could. Rentaro's body was across from the AV room sliding door as well. As long as the rear door of the library was open, he would have been able to hit the victim. Yep. That's quite the distance, though. Is he the ultimate baseball star, too? Shot put ball was pretty heavy. Did you forget already? Gonta easily picked up the heavy manhole cover. And that's something else I just mentioned. It would definitely be feasible for him to throw a shot put ball at his target. Mm hmm. Yep, a walking talking Roomba can't compare to a mighty beast like Gonta. That Roomba remark is probably not about me, as I have a variety of custodial functions. <laughs> I knew that was gonna... I knew that was coming. Well, Gonta, can you throw a shot put ball from that distance? Yes, probably. But that's bad for you, dude. You're too honest, Gonta. Seriously. <laughs> You're so cool, Gonta. You could be the ultimate shot putter. <laughs> well, I've heard enough. Gonta's the culprit. Hmm. Wait! Gonta never hurt anyone! Not even insect! Gonta telling truth! Gentlemen never tell lies! Well, there you have it. What do you guys think? I would like to believe him. But without evidence, we cannot. Yeah, I don't know what evidence off the top of my head right now because I pointed that out. If everyone is wrong, we'll never find the mastermind. I can't let that happen. I need to do my best to guide everyone to the right answer. Not culprit! Honest! A typical degenerate male excuse! Oh my god. Rantaro's corpse in the AV room door. Do line up with one another. There are no obstacles in the way. If one opened the back door of the library, one could throw a shot and strike true. No way the average person could make that shot. But with superhuman strength like Gonta's, it's a different story. Afterward, to close the back door to the library, he would have used the World Jump Projector screen again. 
Wait, what? See, that's all there is to it. Wait, what? Is this what we're going with? No, this doesn't sound right. Actually, the situation at the library was different than what everyone remembers. Everyone's on the wrong track. I need to guide them to the right answer. If I don't, we'll never expose the mastermind. So we agree. Gonta's the culprit. Gonta, not culprit. Honest. Let's see. The body the victim was subjected to a blunt force trauma to that result. Oh my god. Call degenerate male excuse. Rentaro's corpse in the AV room door. Do line up with one another. There are no obstacles in the door. Gotcha! No, that's wrong! It would have been impossible for Gonto to have thrown that shot from the AV room. Exactly. I just remembered the bookcase was closing as the uh, killer had... Well, as his body was laying dead, so... Because there was an obstacle between Rentaro and Gonta. Exactly. Obstacle? It wasn't Gonta. The moving bookcase, when Rentaro was killed, it should have been open. Yup. That's our evidence. The bookcase door was open when he was killed. Man, gone to frickin' just... Whoosh, barely dodged a bullet there. <laughs> or a putt shot. Wait, what? What? What am I doing? What proves the bookcase was open? Well... The... Where's the... Camera? It's this one. I get it. Gotcha. Give me that health back. It's in or this something. <laughs> Here, look. These two pictures were taken by the camera facing the moving bookcase. These photos were taken moments before Rantaro was killed. The bookcase door is completely open here, and then it closes automatically. So by the time we entered the library, the door had already closed itself. Mm-hmm. We saw it closing, too. Before Rantaro was killed, the bookcase door was open. Even if Gonta did throw the shot, it would have hit the bookcase instead. Mm-hmm. I see. Well, that pretty much shuts the book on that theory, then. Yes, it does. If that's true, then there's no possibility that Gonta is the culprit. Whoosh. What? Why are you making this so complicated? Just be the culprit already. <laughs> uh, sorry. <laughs> I don't think you need to apologize. Yeah, that's right. A man shouldn't apologize so easily. Especially for being a freaking killer. <laughs> I should be the one to apologize. I am sorry for accusing you, Gonta. Well, honestly, it's like I thought I thought about that, but forgot about that bookcase being open and closing as no, we came in. No, Gonta understand, because we got to find culprit. Exactly. Well said. For a degenerate male, you're actually pretty reasonable. I guess that's a step up. I hate this sentimental crap! <coughs> Why's that? It's nice when everyone gets along like this. Are oh you boy. stupid or something? I can't stand people having a good time! <laughs> Daddy is too evil to feel ashamed for being evil. Uh. We could learn a lot from him. Don't mind me. I'm not actually taking notes. I'm placing bets on racehorses. What racehorses? Oh, I'm chosen for a leap. 
I need a raccoon tail to chase my dragon! What? It's good that Gaunt is in the clear, but don't break out the confetti just yet. We still don't have a, a, a culprit. We're out of suspects now. Yeah. On top of that, we still don't even know how Rantaro died. Exactly. So we only know what the weapon is? How are we supposed to find the mastermind with that? We know the murder weapon is the shot put ball. But where did the culprit get it? From the warehouse. I think it was from the warehouse. I saw track and field equipment there. Then anyone would have been able to obtain it. We need more information. What's wrong, Shuichi? Huh? Uh, uh, it's nothing. Uh, well, if you're gonna say that, everyone's gonna be like, uh, no. Stumbling like that's not nothing. Tell us what you're thinking. Or not. Just be a man and fess up already! We don't even know if they're a guy or not though, right? Tuh. Or if they're even human. Tuh. Are you referring to me? Don't worry, you guys. We're one step closer to the truth, so don't give up! Gaunta's in the clear, so he should be happy about that at least. Try to remember what happened. We can find more clues left by the Mastermind. Clues? What kind of clues? Blues clues? Like, if Rantaro was deceived by the Mastermind and went to the library, maybe somebody saw Rantaro having a suspicious conversation with someone. It would be a good idea to figure out who knew about our trap. Either way, anything you guys remember might be able to help with the case. Yes, yes! But... Are you sure the culprit is also the mastermind? Yeah, cuz I really am start I'm really not thinking that's the case. I've not thought that into this entire case. Huh? Yeah, I think so. Why? Then what the two had just told me about how the culprit entered the library is correct. Huh? I didn't hear anything. Excuse me? That's right. Only I can hear the voice of Atua. Then I will speak on Atua's behalf, as his prophet. Uh, okay. What does Atua say? The culprit is the mastermind. They could have entered the library while avoiding the cameras. Wait, I didn't press anything. <laughs> Are you serious? There's a way to do that? Super serious, brother. <laughs> brother. You too, it sounds like a shady weirdo. <laughs> a way for the culprit to enter the library without being caught by cameras. Is that really possible? Atua says... I should continue explaining on his behalf. Only Atua knows the truth behind this incident! Don't stop the bait. Hmm. The culprit was hiding in the library the whole time. Before Kaede and Shuichi even placed the cameras. Where would they have hidden? Inside the hidden door! So you're saying the culprit was lying in wait there? If that's true, the suspects are those who were alone at the time of the incident. The only ones who didn't go to the dining hall or basement are... Kokichi and Kibo and Ryoma, right? I knew the culprit was a male! Yoo-ha-ha! Behold Atua's divine logic! I've never had to debate a god before. <laughs> I can tell there's a contradiction, but I don't... But I don't... What? But I don't 
Angie's noticed it yet. Ah, uh, what? <laughs> the culprit was hiding in the library. The whole. <clears throat> I need to look over this again. Where would they have hidden? Inside the hidden door. Gotcha. No, that's wrong. I was kind of nervous on hitting that one, but I'm glad I did. Wait a minute, Angie. I don't think it was possible to hide in the hidden door. What? You dare challenge a tour? I like hitting them V points. <laughs> I don't think the hidden door was ever used. Nope. Huh? The dust is still here or there. It looks like it looks like the card reader wasn't used. That means the mastermind didn't hide here. While investigating the mastermind, I placed dust on the card reader. Mm-hmm. If anyone swiped their card key, the dust would have fallen. We already confirmed during the investigation that there was no dust on the floor. The bookcase hadn't been opened, so I doubt anyone was hiding in there. The fog is lifted. Whoa! <laughs> you still got a ways to go. Really? Culprit could have been in the library before the cameras were even set. You won't be able to prove anything with weak reasoning like that. It seems you've been contradicted. <gasps> I've never been contradicted before. <laughs> when this sort of thing happens, you go into a one-on-one -on -one debate called a rebuttal showdown. Okay, maybe I haven't. It's that sword fighting thing. What's a rebuttal showdown? For now, let's explain the controls. <clears throat> In this mode, you counter the other person's claim and argue against it. So the mood is in the middle, the weak spot is right there. Wait. What the hell is, uh... Give me my mouse. What the hell is... That? Well, that's the blade. <clears throat> okay, there's the truth cylinder, selecting truth bullet, there's the time, and the influence gauge. Move your truth blade with the L and align it with your opponent's claim. Perform a regular cut in the direction the blade is pointing by pressing X. Cut with a truth blade by pressing triangle. Oh, sorry, I forgot, I forgot to tell you. Yes. In this mode, truth bullets will be called truth blades. But why are they still called truth bullets right here? <laughs> Use regular cuts on your opponent's words, but when a weak spot appears, slash it with a truth blade strike. Of course, you don't have. If you don't have the correct truth blade, you will not be able to cut an opponent's remark. What's neat is, if you cut through multiple words at once, you get a time bonus! Hooray for time bonuses! Two at once gets you two seconds, three is three. The more you cut down, the better. Watch the position of your opponent's claim closely and slice as many as you can. By doing that, you can skew the debate's mood to your advantage. When the mood of the argument is in your favor, the debate will progress. I remember that. On the other hand, if you ignore the other person's remarks, it will skew toward their advantage. And then you'll have to deal with loss of progress. If you're, you and your opponent's arguments are even, a blade lock will occur. You got a button mash for that, right? When that happens, you have to mash X as fast as you can to push them off. Isn't slicing and dicing opinions with a truth sword the bee's knees? Yeah, okay. What? Not really. Well, you shouldn't knock it before you try it. <laughs> you can also V-agree, so if 
blah 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 What were the controls again? <laughs> Even if we rule out the hidden door, the library's got no shortage of hiding spots. There's piles of books all over. Since the culprit was there before the cameras were placed, gotcha. they could have been hiding there, you know. They took out Rantaro, then took off. Advance. But if the culprit killed him and ran away, wouldn't they have been caught on camera? Not if they went back into hiding. Right after killing Rantaro. Then, once everyone's gathered around the body, all they gotta do Ow. is look like they just ran in. We join everyone and we be none the wiser. Ow, I'm starting to see holes in Ryoma's argument. I have evidence I can present that will break. I didn't read the Not freaking argument! Into hiding. Right after killing Rantaro. Then, once everyone's gathered around the body, all they gotta do is act like they just ran in. We join everyone and we be none the wiser. Uh, what? Okay, rejoin everyone. Now, they went back into hiding, right after killing Rantaro. Then, once everyone's gathered around the body, all they gotta do is act like they just ran in. What's Monokuma 1? I always sucked at these because I always was trying to frickin' slash 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 and could not figure out the crap. The victim, blah blah blah. We join everyone and... We be none the wiser. Not if they went back into hiding. Right after killing Rantaro. Then, once everyone's gathered around the body, all they gotta do is act like they just ran in. Rejoin everyone and we be none the wiser. Uh, that? That's your reasoning? He won't persuade me with anything but crystal clear evidence. <laughs> I screwed up. Crap. Rejoin everyone and we be none the wiser. I got the frickin' V point at least. I can say that. I might have to cut a lot of that. The culprit met him inside the library? What the hell? That doesn't seem possible though. Whew, holy crap. <laughs> that was I hate I've always hated the sword ones. I remember always doing the cutting and slicing and dicing, but then it's like at the very end it's like you don't have time to really react without either getting progress taken away from you and then you just waste more time and or just slicing it like at how I was doing it and it's like well, well what am I supposed to press it's like there's three different cameras I Bleh. let's hear it then what's your reason it's like I've had such a good case this entire time until that thing I always sucked at those if I recall if you take a look at the three pictures from the camera we placed near the front door. This is when Shuichi and I met up with Kaito and Tenko and then rushed in. Mm-hmm. This one shows the other four people running in after they heard Tenko scream. And then we got the final people. I guess I should have said the front camera and first. And finally, everyone else coming in after hearing the body discovery announcement. I just got really confused with that argument, for the most part, I want to say. You can clearly see everyone entering the library in these pictures. It wouldn't make sense if there was someone hiding in the library the whole time. Well, that does cover everyone now, doesn't it? Yeah. I guess the one who still has a ways to go is me. Well, at least he admits it. I kind of have a ways to go with that stupid sword flapping one. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's better to think about each possibility anyway. Right, Shuichi? What? Hmm? 
Ah, oh, um, yes. Oh, uh, what are you thinking there, Sushi? Is Sushi okay? He's been really quiet this entire time. Is he worried about something? So the real question is how the culprit entered and exited the library. Yeah, and I know exactly the big evidence that's going to be screwing up everything, I think. Oh yeah, I turned it off. We cannot continue until we address that problem first. It's quite a mystery. How did the killer avoid being caught by the cameras? Almost like they were invisible. Or knew where the cameras were. Oh, but it wasn't me. My magic can only make you half invisible. Your upper half, to be specific. What? That's kind of a half-baked invisibility spell, isn't it? <laughs> but both doors to library had hidden cameras on them. How about the vent in the library? Maybe they came in through there. It's pretty small. But Shuichi and I were on lookout in the classroom with the connecting vent. Plus that. The culprit waited until Kaede and Shuichi weren't looking, then turned invisible. What? Himiko is really gung-ho about her invisible culprit theory. <laughs> um, yeah, no. There's no way someone snuck into the library through the vent. <clears throat> That's right. We have evidence that proves that would have been impossible. It's the, uh, where's the books? It's this. Stacked books. I get it. Just that much? Really? Oh. When I set the cameras, I also stacked some books in front of the vent. If someone did crawl in and out from the vent, the books would have collapsed. While we were investigating, they were still neatly stacked the way I placed them. Maybe they put the books back when they left the room. That would be quite difficult to achieve on such a narrow bookcase. If we've ruled out the vent and doors, then how'd the culprits get in and out of the library? Maybe... Divine Intervention? Didn't I say something about an intervention, like, forever ago? Or in the last episode? <laughs> Gonta no can think of any other way to enter. Eureka! I know how the culprit got in the library! The front door! Um, have you been paying attention? The camera would have taken their picture. Not if the culprit timed their movements around the camera intervals! Huh? Intervals? What is that? Basically, the culprit knew about the cameras and their intervals. So they snuck into the library between camera shots to avoid appearing in the photos. <laughs> I know, I know. Beauty and brains. Why? It's just not fair. Ew. What's this interval you're talking about? She made the huh? camera. Oh, now you're asking me. After the shutter snaps, the camera can't take a new photo for 30 seconds. Interesting. Because I redesigned the cameras to auto-roll the film instead of having to do it manually. Yeah. And that's why I said she knows about the camera. the first time I'm hearing about this. Why didn't she tell us from the start? <laughs> yeah, I knew that was coming. <laughs> but I told your little beta boy toy after I gave you the remodeled cameras. Oh. So she didn't say something. What? Sh Shuichi? Everyone's eyes are looking at s Sushi. Uh, I'm sorry. I I guess I forgot to tell you. 
how could you forget to tell me? Yeah. I didn't that... think it would affect the plan. I I didn't realize it would matter. Yeah, because uh that really raises suspicion. I guess I just forgot to mention it. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I forgot. What a pitiful excuse. Doesn't that sound like something uh a certain detective uh, girl said in the first game. I forgot is not a good excuse. Yeah, that's pretty much a lie. N no, it's not a lie. He probably just forgot. There was so much going on at the time. It's only natural to forget, you know? Yeah. Let's put that aside for now and talk about the camera intervals. Each interval lasted for 30 seconds, correct, Mew? It's like, we'll let him go for now. Yeah, sure. I'll explain it again to you mushheads. The three cameras that Kai Idiot and Puichi place go off when they pick up movement. From there, it takes 30 seconds for the film to auto-roll to the next photo. So, for 30 seconds, anyone could have entered the library without their photo being taken? That may have been enough time to kill Rantaro and exit the library. Yep. It's definitely enough time! You just gotta move at lightning speed! Mm-hmm. I see, I see! Then there's no doubt the culprit made use of the camera's intervals! That means the culprit was Mew all along, since she knew about the intervals! Oh my god. Don't be an asshole! I have an alibi! Remember the dining hall? Exactly. Wasn't he there? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> who else knew about the intervals? One other person. Hmm. Now, who was it again? Shuichi. Ooh, her eyes look freaking red there, like, redder than usual. Well, then, does this mean that he is the culprit we have been seeking? Shuichi! Hey, what gives, Shuichi? Shuichi would never do that. Right, Shuichi? Uh-oh. Here we go. You would better speak soon. Your silence only damns you further. Hmm. Fess up already! Did you kill Rantaro? Hey, Shuichi, what's gotten into you? Don't tell me you're gonna plead the fifth now. <laughs> oh man, this is getting good! Entertain me, peasants! Oh, brother. No way. Shuichi can't be the culprit. That's definitely wrong! There's no way! I refuse to believe Suichi is the culprit. I'll start calling him. Try to call him by his real name. That's definitely not possible. <sighs> Except it kind of is because he went downstairs for that brief one minute, pretty much. And that one minute was 30 seconds could have killed him. Intermission? What? What? Intermission? I don't remember an intermission. In the first, or the second game. It's been like freaking three years, so I can't remember. <laughs> well now. Wow! The trial is racing toward its thrilling conclusion. Do you know who the culprit is? Obviously, I know, because I know everything. Uh. What? Know everything? Yeah. No, everything. Mm -hmm. Daddy knows everything about anything. He basically traded his bearhood for godhood. 
Yes, he has betrayed his Ursine ancestors. Huh? Traded? No, obviously I'm still a bear. It is obvious, right? Right, you guys? Right? Yeah, sure ain't no fish, but you damn sure smell like one. Now then. Anyway, since I know everything, I'll give you the whole story later. Try your hardest to nab that culprit, and believe me, that's no lie. If I lied, I would shake the game to its very foundation. <laughs> so trust me and please enjoy the class trial without any worries. Okay. Resume the class trial. We feel like we're getting close to the glory part. It's making me nervous. Hmm. I know who the culprit is, but I'm not paying attention, so it's okay. It's kind of odd that their uh their uh frames are like unlike their profile or their regular shot. Their faces have these scars on it. Yeah, but there's one thing we do know. The line between victim and attacker ain't as clear as you might think. Hmm. I suppose that's one lesson we can take away from this case. I cut off the leg before the poison spread. By spring, flowers will grow from the stump. What? Yeah, I'm dotting too. Say something already. It's been like five minutes. <laughs> Your tongue tied silence speaks volumes. I fucking knew you were the culprit. But wait just a minute. None of that is possible. No, it is possible, actually. Shuichi was with me the whole time we were on lookout. Mm -mm. When are you suggesting Shuichi killed Rantaro? I know. Were you really together the whole time? Huh? What do you mean? I'm asking if you two were on lookout together the whole time. Well, I guess we weren't together the whole time. <laughs> I'm going to check out the basement. I'll come with you. No, you stay and keep watch, Kaede. So that's when Shuichi went to kill Rantaro. No, Shuichi wouldn't kill anyone. Hmm. Don't become emotional. We must seek the truth in a calm and logical manner. Or all our lives will be lost here. And the sad part is, is that this is reminding me of the first case of the first game, pretty much. I'm not being emotional here. I'm saying it with conviction. Even if Sushi did, Suichi did go to the basement, he couldn't have killed the Rantaro because... Even in, uh, let's see, the time it took the security sensor going off. Is it really this? I get it. Because he could turn that off. The security alarm didn't ring until after Shuichi returned to the classroom. It only rang after Rantaro moved the hidden door, which means he was still alive. If Shuichi was with me when the alarm went off, then that means he's not the culprit. By the way, I want to confirm one thing with you, Kaede. Hmm? Who set the security sensor on the bookcase? It was Shuichi, right? Actually, it was Kaede, I think. Huh? Wasn't it? I thought it was. Then I'll set up this. Then I'll set up the camera that's connected to the security sensor. I'll set it carefully so the camera has a clear shot when the mastermind moves the bookcase. 
Oh, I forgot about that. Let me take care of the security sensor on top of the smoke case. And we'll set the cameras near the doors. Yeah, Shuichi was the one who set up the security sensor. What about it? Did you actually check for yourself if the sensor was set on the bookcase, Kaede? No, I didn't check. Did it ever occur to you that Shuichi could have lied about setting the sensor? Mm hmm. Hmm, and he... He didn't get captured on while well, he didn't get captured on the camera uh, for the the hidden bookcase. He uh, what was it? Um, he said that he hit it with or he turned it off with the sensor. So there's a bunch of holes right there. A lie. Shuichi pretended to place the sensor on the hidden bookcase door. But in actuality, he was holding it the whole time. And when he met up with you, he secretly triggered the sensor to make the security alarm go off. That would cause Kaede to assume that someone had moved to the bookcase. I see, sneaky little fucker! No! At this rate, everyone's going to think... Suichi is the culprit. I have to do something. I know for a fact that he's not the culprit. Are you sure about that? So, I gotta do something. From this point on, lines of white noise will appear to disrupt the, your reactions. They're not really white. They're purple or pink, I guess, in this case. But, yeah. Your truth bullets will disappear if they touch these lines, so think of them as obstacles. Please time your truth bullets just right so they won't get interrupted by white noise. You can use the silencer with X to shoot down the white noise. Now why would you do that to score bonus time? Because not only does that make it easier to shoot the right weak points, you'll get additional time. What a great deal! However, if you shoot at the frickin' statements, you'll lose time, and I've seen the final case, you lose frickin' like 60 seconds. <laughs> Ooh, that sucks. Use it to your heart's content. Thank you for the opportunity. The security sensor was armed, but... The moving bookcase isn't what triggered it. Gotcha. As it turns out, Shuichi had it the whole time. The sound Kaede heard came from the sensor when Shuichi secretly moved it in order to trigger the alarm. So Oops. Kaede heard the sensor go off. She figured someone had tried to move the bookcase. Only an idiot can make that mistake. Hmm. Say something. Suichi couldn't have had the sensor on him. That's right, and I should have evidence that proves beyond with a shadow of a doubt. Wait, the really? Security sensor was, the security sensor was armed, but the moving bookcase isn't. <laughs> Holy crap! I no, did it! Oh. <laughs> I freaking it was either the freaking sensor or the hidden camera. Crap. Or the hidden. If the security sensor wasn't placed, then. Holy crap. We wouldn't have been able to take that picture. We were only able to get it because the sensor was triggered by the hidden door. Yeah. Oh, that? Easy to explain. Well, you see. Yeah? I want to hear it. Uh. I guess you're right. Sorry, I didn't think that far ahead. Yeah, I know the feeling. <laughs> You're giving up that easily? <laughs> yeah, I mean, whatevs. I made a mistake, big deal. Oh my god. You speak as if you knew that from the start. Even I was taken in. <laughs> <laughs> so you see, Shuichi can't be the culprit. Hmm. Now wait just a minute. 
Yeah. The security sensor had a power supply, so what if it went like this? The security sensor was set up on the bookshelf, and Shuichi had its receiver. Mm hmm. However, Shuichi turned the receiver off. Yep. Huh? How come? That would get you a picture, but no alarm when Rantaro moved the bookcase. Then, when Shuichi says he's going to check the basement, he actually goes to the library. And thanks to the 30 second interval, he's got time to go in after Rantaro. He could have collected the sensor from the hidden bookcase after killing Rantaro. I see. Then he caused the receiver to go off in front of Kaede to trick her. It's certainly plausible, considering that Shuichi knew about the intervals. Uh, how needlessly complicated. But I guess it's not impossible. Then, Shuichi really is the culprit? <laughs> so the ultimate detective is the killer. What a plot twist! Wait! Why do you guys think he's the culprit? Shuichi... Please say something. Why aren't you saying anything? Uh... Shuichi, what's wrong? You're not culprit, are you? He's been silent this entire time, though, too. Hey, you gonna say anything? We'll all vote for you if you don't. Are you okay with being the culprit? Are you ready to turn yourself in? What should I do? Everyone suspects Shuichi. There's no way he's the culprit, but even so... Why won't Shuichi say anything? Is there a reason he won't say anything? If that's the case, then it's all up to me. To protect everyone, I need to take control of this debate. Even if, even if that means I have to lie to do it. What? Did you hear that? A lie? Now I know that sounds crazy. Telling a lie in a class trial? It's unspeakable! But sometimes telling a lie is necessary to reach the truth. This is true. They're actually... While well, Makoto didn't say the lie... Uh, Kyoko, I think it was. Uh, she was the one that kind of went around the subject of makeup with a tattoo, if I recall. <laughs> oh, but don't worry, there are no lies in this tutorial. Are you sure? From here on out, there will be times in a debate you have to lie. A lie bullet? Before you had to refute the lies, but now you have to lie yourself. Doesn't that get your heart pumping? Makes me frickin' nervous. Here's how it works. Select a truth bullet like normal non-stop debates. But when you hold the triangle button, the truth bullet will become a lie bullet with opposite meaning. Releasing the triangle will shoot the lie bullet. When you use a lie bullet to argue or agree with someone's statement, it will become a perjury. A statement that paints over the truth with lies. Oh damn, this is getting really dark. While lying, your influence gate will drain. A successful lie will s restore it. But if you miss with your lie bullet, you will take damage, so be careful. Oh, well, that's just great because it's not like I have that much influence left. Also, I've heard a rumor that there's a secret way to advance debates. It's called a back route. What? Let's just say that only those who lie will be able to find it. <laughs> Thank you, Muchly. Oh, God! Oh boy. 
Let's go over the case one more time. The security sensor was placed on the moving bookcase. Shuichi also had the receiver. But he had it turned off. And so when Rantaro moved to the bookcase, a picture was taken without the alarm sounding. Then taking advantage of the camera's interval timer, Shuichi hid in the library and murdered the shit out of Rantaro! And then, he grabbed the security sensor from the bookcase and returned to the lookout spot. Afterward, he set off the receiver in front of Kaede on purpose to make her think the murder had just happened. Praise be to Atua! We've solved this case! So Shuichi was just using Kaede. The basis for their suspicion is that Shuichi had the receiver for the security sensor. If I can argue against that, everything should be okay. Oh my god! You have to tell him you had the security sensor! That makes no sense though! I have to take retake control. I have to tell a lie. So we can get closer to the truth. Let's go over the case one more time. The security sensor was placed on the moving bookcase. Shuichi also had the receiver. Oh, jeez, I missed! But he had it turned off. And Damn it! When Rantaro moved the bookcase, a picture was taken without the alarm sounding. Then taking advantage of the camera. He was in the library and murdered the shit out of Rantaro! He grabbed the security sensor from the bookcase and returned to the lookout spot. Afterwards, Ow. he set off the receiving set of Kaede on purpose to make her think the murder had just happened. Praise be to her. We've stopped this case. Okay, he shut up. Using Kaede. Damn it. Okay, give me that. Frickin'. Give me that. Uh. Let's go over the case one more time. Yes, one more time. The security sensor was placed on the moving bookcase. Shuichi also had the receiver. But he had a damn it! I freaking missed again, and, and, and I so just damaged myself more. The bookcase. A picture was taken without the alarm sounding. Then taking advantage of the camera's another timer. I'm so losing time doing, doing that back. crap. And then he grabbed the security sensor from the bookcase and returned to the lookout spot. Afterwards, he set off the receiver in front of Kaede and Brody because the murder had just happened. Yes. Can't. Yes. The security sensor was placed on the moving bookcase. Shuichi. Gotcha. Turn this lie into the truth. Sorry, you guys. I forgot to tell you something important. Oh, jeez. Forgot? To tell you the truth, it was me. I had the receiver. Huh? So that's why there's no way Shuichi could have turned off the receiver. Uh, uh, <laughs> this seems so freaking wrong. Yeah! And Shuichi kinda is like... Uh... Then the entire premise of the argument thus far is wrong. Is this true, Kaede? No. Uh, of course. Come on, would I lie to you guys? <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe. That only screw yourself over. If we mess up, you're dead too, you know. Or perhaps you wanted to cover for Shuichi, even at the cost of your life. Huh? I cannot imagine why anyone would risk their life to lie on another's behalf. Words from a true heartless robot. Emotions are only for meatbags. <sighs> that is a harmful stereotype. What? What? I, I didn't even press anything, and it just didn't do anything. I have heartfelt Listen, feelings too. Those kinds of calculations? It's not so unthinkable. All hearts are blind when faced with radiant love. Doing anything for the one you love. Hasn't everyone felt that way before? Someone's frickin' praying. <laughs> I most certainly have, at least. How creepy you are! I'm 
sure that person didn't want your love. Yeah. Kayuri and Shuichi are pretty buddy buddy with each other, so I wouldn't doubt that. Plus, the way Kayeri just acted right now, I'm pretty sure she lied. A talented liar like me can spot other people's lies easily. Damn. Well, what do you guys think? To believe or not to believe Kayeri? Um, I do want to believe Kayeri, but Shuichi does seem pretty suspicious. He has been strangely quiet for a while now. Which is classic degenerate male behavior. Yeah, I agree. Shuichi is the only person here who's suspicious. So we all agree that Puichi did it? Then let's just vote already! No, I still think it is too soon to determine the culprit. I don't know, this has been going on for like two hours. <laughs> um, I agree. I sort of can't believe that Shuichi is the culprit. Yeah, this ain't right! I agree! But I don't know if Atua agrees. Cause right now it's his nap time. This is quite troublesome. It seems our opinions are on opposite ends. How are we supposed to decide? We're split, right down middle. Oh boy, here we go. Split. Did you just say split? Here we go. You did! I heard it! I heard it with my belly button microphone! That's a microphone? So wait, your ears don't do anything? <laughs> the Ultimate Academy is proud to present its very own more phenomenal trial grounds! Wait, what? More phenomenal trial Trial grounds? The trial grounds are gonna morph? Seriously? I totally want to see that! Either way, we have to do something. We can't vote for Shuichi because he's definitely not the culprit. If we vote for him, all hope is lost. I won't be able to save everyone. But I haven't lost hope yet. I won't give up. Before I can save everyone, I need to make sure we're all on the same page. You're split down the middle! At times like this, debate scrums are perfect! What are debate scrums? In a debate scrum, you will be split into two teams. Opposing subject. Time, influence, and focus gauge. That's going to be freaking crap. <laughs> Opposing subject keyword. Then you're you argue opinions against each other. But look, everyone's so fired up, the subjects of your statements don't match. That's not how you debate at all. You have to match your subject with your opponents and put them in the correct order. That's how you make a good debate. Oh, I didn't even know you could move these. Well, that sucks balls then. Because I haven't moved that the entire time. I just noticed the dot down there. But Mew... Silent about intervals to subject... Keyword... Confirm? Make a statement. Statement select and controls, obviously, and focus up there. I'm probably going to fail and uh, just get a not a game over, but you know. <laughs> Listen closely for the subject of your opponent's argument. Before your opponent finishes their statement, find the same subject keyword with b b b b and press triangle to argue the subject with the same keyword. If you and your opponent's arguments match, then your opponent's keyword will be revealed. And when all the statements match up, you will enter the finale. Try to convince all your opponents at once. 
continuously tap the button displayed on the screen to push your opponent's claim out, so that's what this is. Don't get pushed back. Push their claim out for a perfect ref refutation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You hid what you knew about the camera interval, Shuichi. Unlike Shuichi, I actually have an airtight alibi. Shuichi and Kaede went together the whole time, were they? If Shuichi had the receiver, it could have been disguised. But that's Kaede's lie, isn't it? I need to choose what point will be raised before the opponent finishes their statement. Yeah. I'm still confused. Have to be the conductor and match my side's points with my opponent's points. I'm going to convince everyone that Suichi is not the culprit. You hid what you knew about the camera interval, Shuichi. Unlike Shuichi, I actually have an airtight alibi. I what the heck? Shuichi no, and no. Weren't together the whole time, were they? If Shuichi had the receiver, it could have been. Kibo. Kaede is the one who actually had the receiver. But that's Kaede's lie, isn't it? I'll do it. We'll know whether or not it's a lie when we talk this through. Okay. You hid what you knew about the camera interval, Shuichi. You hid what you knew about the camera interval, Shuichi. Shuichi, I actually have an airtight alibi. Kaito! Kaede backed up Shuichi's alibi, didn't she? Shuichi and Kaede went together the whole time. Hirumi! Both of them were together when the receiver went off. If Shuichi had the receiver, it could have been. Kibo! That the receiver. Kaede is the one who actually had the receiver. But that's Kaede's life. I'll do it. We'll know whether or not it's a lie when we talk this through. Okay, I think I got it. You hid what you knew about the camera and Yeah. Wait a second. You hid what you knew about the camera interval. Go, go. Intervals. But you silent about intervals too. I'm like Shuichi, I actually have an airtight alibi. Alibi. Kaede backed up Shuichi's alibi, didn't she? Shuichi and Kaede weren't together the whole time, were they? Really? Together. Both of them were together when the receiver went off. If Shuichi had the receiver... Kibo. Receiver! Kaede is the one who actually had the receiver. But that's Kaede's lie, isn't it? Lie! Okay. We'll know whether or not it's a lie when we talk this through. Time to go. Come on, 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 come on. Yeah! Break. Okay, that's a lot easier than I thought it was. Everyone, you have to believe me. Shuichi is not the culprit. If we vote for Shuichi, we'll be making the wrong choice. And if that happens, everyone will be executed. I just want to know I who it is. We won't let that happen, even if it costs me my life. Kaede. Yeah, it's just like Kaede said. Shuichi ain't the culprit. Gonta believe in Shuichi too. Gentlemen always believe in friends. Well, if Shuichi's not our culprit, then who is? Exactly. We've already exhausted all possible avenues of discussion. No way. There has to be something else we can discuss. We just gotta think. Right, Shuichi? Huh? Shuichi, 
Even though you're not the culprit, you've been quiet for a while. It's because you realized something, huh? You're scared to reveal the truth. <laughs> oh my god. He freaking can't say the truth because he's afraid it's gonna screw everyone over or something because of the past. I thought so. Shuichi, answer me this. What kind of truth did you realize? Don't be scared to say it. Not just for me, but for everyone else. Please, face the truth. The picture. The picture? Picture? The picture from the camera aimed at the hidden door just before the murder. I always thought it was suspicious the way Rantaro was acting. Hmm? What's suspicious? If you look at the picture, it looks like Rantaro is trying to remove the camera. Yeah, I saw- I noticed that. But that must mean he noticed the camera we set up. Yes. That's true. But when did he notice that? I believe it was when the camera took its first picture. Mm-hmm. This picture was taken when Rantaro moved the bookcase. At that moment, something made him notice the camera. So, he tried to remove it. That's when the bookcase closed. The sensor was triggered, and that's when this picture was taken. If that is the case, we must find the reason why he noticed the camera. You're confusing everyone! Yeah. Except me, of course. Just get to the fucking point! I've been contemplating what it could be. Why did he notice the camera? I kind of wondered that myself, because you would have thought that he would have noticed it whenever the uh, whenever he first entered, but instead he noticed that one. And the answer is in this picture. Really? Is it like? Is it is it that thing right there? <laughs> Because, uh, I can uncover, uncover my head for that. <laughs> I'm wondering what the heck that is right there. <laughs> I see. Shuichi knows. The reason why Rantaro noticed the camera was because... The camera flash? I mean, it did... It did... Make a. I get it. it did make it brighter. I got a freaking second heart that's because barely the flash, right? enough. Yeah. The flash. Yes, the flash went off when the hidden door camera took a picture. Rantaro noticed the camera's flash. But how can you tell the flash went off? Because the screen is brighter. I was wondering why it looked like it flashed. Too. Well, if you compare it to the other pictures that we have, remember the pictures that were taken when I took down the cameras? This is the picture taken when it's I removed dark. the front camera. And this is the picture from when I removed the rear camera. And that's dark too. However, that's bright. And this is the picture of Rantaro. I mean, it kind of made me think that someone was freaking shooting him and a flash happened or something. Whoa! The brightness is totally different! Yeah. Same room, circumstance, and camera. And yet, there was a disparity in brightness. Because only the camera aimed at the hidden door had the flash turned on. But why was the flash turned on? What was the purpose of leaving the flash on? Especially since it was meant to be hidden. Yeah. A mistake, maybe? 
It's no mistake. There was an objective here. Really? That camera was placed for another reason. Really? Another reason, huh? Picture of a mastermind. Let's take the picture of the mastermind, right? Oh, crap. Come on, you need to face the truth. Oh, I'm dead. To blind the mastermind! Yeah, that's it! No, it isn't. I lose! <laughs> For not realizing it. <laughs> How is everyone suspecting you? <laughs> I never got this. It's like, you screw up so many times and also, like, for example, Nothing else I can do. shut up, just continue to lure the mastermind closer. I get it. The flash was used to lure whoever moved the bookcase to the camera. So when the flash went off, they would have noticed the camera right away. And that's exactly what happened. Yeah. But why? Rantaro moved the bookcase, noticed the flash, and then walked over to the camera. But the culprit didn't expect the camera to take another picture when the door closed. Hey, Kaede? What is it? Is something wrong? You've been acting... Kind of strange. Strange? Your last few remarks carry more conviction than before. Do you know who the culprit is? Yep, I know. I've known for a long time. Mm -hmm. Long time? Because there was only one person able to set the flash on the camera. Hmm. Isn't that right, Shuichi? The culprit of this incident is... Wait. Oh my god. Mew? No, that's wrong. I'm sorry. Whoa, 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 whoa. That just flew over my head. Who killed Rain? I know that freaking question. Who set the flash? Me? No doubt about it. What? Wait, 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 wait. Well, this is as far as it goes. I couldn't do it. I couldn't get to the mastermind. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm sorry, Rantaro. I'm sorry, Shuichi. You stayed silent this whole time because you realized it already, right? But you can't do that. It may be the end of me, but I want my wish to. I'm giving it to you, Shuichi. From now on, you're going to carry on my wish. You're going to protect everyone.
Heyday, I know what you want me to do. That's so cool. It's cool, but... I understand. I'll do it. You can trust me. I won't let your wish... go ungranted. Kaede is the culprit. Kaede did it? Wait! That's not possible! Right, Kaede? Can someone give us a freaking climax case? Because I want to see how this worked. K Kaede? Wait! Did she really... <laughs> Just kidding! Just kidding. Wait. I'm so freaking confused right now. Huh? Did you guys really think I'm the culprit? Shh, come on, guys. Like I could. When Rantaro was murdered, I was in the classroom with Shuichi, remember? After that, we went to the library, and that's the first time I even saw his body. Plus, I never met up with Rantaro. I never had a chance to kill him. Yes. No way Kaede could be culprit. I am... Ah. Uh... Jeez, of course not. Do you think I'm even strong enough to throw that shot? Ah. Uh... My hands are only strong enough to play piano. Did that one lie just frickin' like... bust her head up? Then accusing you of being the culprit is... <laughs> yep, it's wrong. Shuichi's just joking around. He wanted to lighten up the mood. Huh? Right, Shuichi? No matter how you look at it, I couldn't have killed Rantaro with that shot. Huh? I understand, Kaede. I you want me to reveal the truth, don't you? I think everyone is afraid of learning the truth. But the people who are willing to find the truth are the ones who can decide their fate. If you never know the lies from the truth, then you can't choose a path. You won't even know you're on a path. So fight for the truth, even if it is frightening. I know you can do this. If you're scared, borrow the strength of others who will be there to help you. Think of everyone you're helping and let that be your strength. No, I'm not joking around. Kaede definitely killed Rantaro. What the hell did you just say? It seems as though Shuichi is serious after all. Oh, jeez. Of course I am. Why don't you tell me then? How did I kill Rantaro with that shot? Yeah, how? You and Kaede were together the whole time, weren't you? How Kaede killed Rantaro with the shot put ball should become clear when you consider where she used it. Oh my god. Where she used the shot football? Huh? What? I loved you guys! Something that was useless this entire case. Kaede wants me to reveal the truth. She trusts me with her wish. So, I can't back down. I need to fulfill her wish, 
I need to fight for the truth. Who am I playing as? <laughs> I have an alibi. When Rantaro was killed, I was in the classroom standing watch with Shuichi. Hey, they never saw Rantaro. And how she kill him? It's important to establish where the culprit used the shot. We know that it was in the library. Rantaro was killed in the library after all. That's the only explanation. Promotional. What the in freaking. What, case... what the hell is this? Possible for me to be the culprit. Katie wants me to reveal the truth. She trusts me with her wish. I won't let her down. I will find the answer. I have an alibi. Let's see. She were on the lookout in the classroom stairway. They found out that. Okay, so it can't be that. When Rantaro was killed. Standing watch with Shuichi. Ow! That no! Stop hitting that! And how she? Kill him! It's important to establish where the culprit used the shot. We know that it was in the library. Rantaro was killed in the library, after all. That's the only explanation. In which case, it's impossible for me to be the culprit. I have an alibi. When Rantaro was killed, I was in the classroom standing watch with Shuichi. Kaede never saw Rantaro. And how she kill him? It's important to establish where the culprit used the shot. We know that it was in the live. Hmm. I did not mean to do that. Crap. That's wrong! Holy shit! <laughs> Kaede didn't use the shot put ball at the scene of the crime. She used it at the first floor classroom, where we were keeping watch. I'm so freaking stunned I didn't even go for the freaking V point. Hold up. How could she have hit Rantara with a shot from a different floor? I freaking know. She rolled it. Exactly. She rolled the shot from the first floor classroom and hit Rancaro. I am skeptical that she could perform such a feat of accuracy. So it was a magic shot put ball? Nah, that's not possible. It is possible. If you do it at the right spot in the classroom, it will reach the library. So it seems. You already knew about that. I didn't want to figure it out. I didn't want to know. But I can't turn away from the truth. Not anymore. The place she rolled the shot put ball to move it from the classroom to the library. I know this! Hangman Gambit. Oh boy, freaking hate Hangman's Gambit so much. Uh, when you need to deduce a keyword, you will be thrown into a Hangman Gambit version 3.0. The objective is to select the letter orbs in the right order to create a keyword. Yes, like always. Press X to activate the flash spots to read the illuminated letter orbs. What? While letter boards are... Or, while the letters are illuminated, you will not be able to actually select an orb. Oh my god, you made this even worse! <laughs> so make sure you remember where they are and press the triangle to get the letter orb. But remember you have to select them in the correct order. Deduce the keywords from the letter orbs that you can see in the flash spot. The flash spot uses focus energy, so use it wisely. 
Waves of light will also occasionally cross the screen, so you can read the letter orbs then, too. Oh, really? So take advantage of that as well! Thank you for listening to me. We have a new hero, folks! An or, not a hero, but a new protagonist, folks! to the library. So, the shot is rolled into the vent, passes through the duct, and comes out of the air vent above the library bookcase. But how could she have hit Rantaro from all the way over there? And the only time we would have known that, or the only time we weren't actually seen, was when he went down to the basement and she was sweeping her broom and they cut a clip right there that was when she did it the vent was way too far from Rantaro's body she stacked the books and so the books freaking went all oh my god the perfect crime almost perfect so it was just a coincidence what kind of coincidence is that i have his face right now hmm what a mystery huh no i already know the answer to that as well it was no coincidence the culprit set it up that way intentionally if i'm remembering correctly there was something off about her then. Damn it. How could I not realize it? It's too late to regret the past. I said I wouldn't back down. I made a promise. Stacked books. The shot that fell from the vent. How did it strike Rantaro's head from that distance? Yeah, that's impossible. It's not like it started rolling on its own and fell off the bookcase onto Rantaro's head. Maybe the shot was on the floor, and Rantaro tripped over, causing him to hit his head on the bookcase. Watch out, so you don't slip and fall. Rantaro's corpse moved on its own! What? Like he was standing under the vent when the shot hit his head. Then he walked a few steps before he finally dropped dead! Hey, Shuichi. Don't lose sight of the truth. Okay, that was wrong. <laughs> I... Hi. The shot that fell from the vent. How did it strike Rantaro's head from that distance? Yeah, that's impossible. It's not like it started rolling on its own. Agree. I agree. It's just like we almost said. Damn, what a frickin' breakthrough this is. The shot rolled along the top of the bookcase and fell on Rantaro's head. I'm telling you, my man, like, this case, this is freaking the first case. <sighs> it rolled along the bookcase? I did say that, but would the shot have rolled that conveniently? Actually, it would. It has nothing to do with convenience. The shot rolled exactly how the culprit wanted. 
They use books on top of the bookcases to direct the path of the shot. The shot's path was directed by books? How would that even work? She stacked them that way. Ah, it would be easier to explain with a floor plan of the library. Yep. Oh, that's right. Someone did have a floor plan. In fact, that might be concrete proof of my theory. I remember one of them having a detailed floor plan. Uh, was it me? That's it. Okay, yeah, that's right. Okay, that's right. Yeah, yeah, it was me. Mew, I recall that during the investigation. That's right. Use your drone to make a floor plan. Oh yeah. What happened with that? Ha, I've already developed the photos and drafted some sketches. Nice. Then let's look at it. Maybe we all find clue. Please, Mew. Oh, want him that badly, huh? Fine. But now you owe me one. <laughs> Fine. Why should we freaking owe you one when this could be a life or death situation? Voila! Feast your eyes on these babies. No. Boop. There it is. It's just as I thought. If we saw that from the get-go, we would have freaking known it. What is? Look at that. See, the books are stacked like stairs from the vent to where Rantaro's body was found. Oh, Shuichi is right. And look at that opening. Opening enough to go and fall from here all the way down to there. And with that angle, it's kind of angled where it looks like it should be falling this way, but obviously it's angled where it would be falling through this middle area, pretty much. Indeed, they are stacked like stairs. I did not notice when I looked up from the floor. Yeah. I see, I see. The shot rolled on top of these books, eh? Yes, I'm sure of it. The shot was rolled into the classroom vent and came out in the library. Boom. If the vent was boom, open, boom, the shot would boom. have maintained momentum. Yeah, it reminds me of frickin' piano. <laughs> hmm. A piano. And you did that, right, Kaede? You made sure the vent was open. That's right, and she was the one that pun punctured this vent open. Oops! I pushed the crate in right into the duct. Then I lifted my body and looked inside. So how's it look? Could a person fit in there? Hmm. It would be pretty difficult, but you might be able to crawl through? Impressive. You have a really good memory, Shuichi. When the shot came through, the stacked books made it change direction. It then rolled down the path made by the books. The books were stacked in rows so that the shot wouldn't fall off. At the same time, the books blocked the shot from view. Mm-hmm. And right when it gets to the end... Then, when the ball was directly above Rantaro, it changed or rolled Oops. along the groove of the open books and fell on top of his head. Damn. And it was the camera flash that lured him to that exact spot. A setup that complicated is almost like a Rube Goldberg machine. Exactly. And she said she liked those too. So 
So Kaede created this mechanism? Well, it would be... Wait, even with the Rube whatever set up, when did she roll the ball into the duct? Oh, we know. That's right! Wasn't Shuichi with Kaede in the classroom? Everyone seems to have forgotten. How funny. Well, did Kaede roll the shot put ball? Had to have been at the time that at just the right time to kill Rantaro. Kaede rolled the shot. She in the classroom? No, when Suichi went into the basement. Wait, what? Rantaro was it had to have been when Rantaro was close. She spent most of the time with Kaede. Suichi, perhaps you only you know the answer. Shoot! Oh no! Everyone's staring at me! Crap! They think I'm a fraud! <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Mm. When she was leaving the classroom? Not when she entered. That's it! Yeah. It's like it couldn't have been the other thing. The moment we ran out of the classroom. When the sensor went off, I ran out first, and then Kaede followed. But just before she left... Shuichi! The receiver! Someone moved the bookcase! Hurry, Kaede! Oh! Shuichi sprinted out of the classroom with the determination of a true ultimate detective. Wait for me! I dropped everything I was holding and ran after Suichi, including a certain something. I'm right, aren't I, Kaede? Of course, the ultimate detective would remember all that. Your words and that smile. Is this your admission of guilt? Hold on! Don't just jump to conclusions! I've still got a lot of questions! Oh my freaking god, this case is going for three hours. <laughs> That's weird. Why do you sound so desperate? <laughs> There's nothing weird about it. There's just no way I could believe someone like Kaede would be the culprit. Honestly, I can't either, since I was the freaking since she was the protagonist. What happened to that? Yeah, going to not believe it either. What? Don't worry, Kaede. I'll clear your name. Oh boy. Here we go. I refuse to believe that Kaede is the culprit. I still have my doubts. What kind of doubts? Doubts about the noise, of course. The library should have been quiet, right? If that shot was rolling through the vents, it would have made a ton of noise. Indeed, so much noise. Red mm. would have heard. Yeah, some noise ain't a big deal. Of course, it's a big deal. Yes, I'm positive. <laughs> The sound of the shot rolling. I know this. I refuse to believe that Kaede is the culprit. I still have my doubts. What kind of doubts? Doubts about the noise, of course. The library should have been quiet, right? I missed. That shot was rolling through the fence. It would have made a ton of noise. <laughs> Indeed, so much noise. Rantaro would have heard. I see. Good at the best. Noise ain't a big deal. It's true. Of course, it's a big deal. It ain't a big deal. I refuse to believe that Kaede is the culprit. I still have my doubts. What kind of doubts? Doubts about the noise, of course. The library should have been quiet, right? Mm -hmm. Gotcha! That's wrong! V. The 
murder occurred while the Killing Game promotional video was being broadcast. So the library would not have been completely quiet at the time. Oh. So that ghastly video drowned out the sound of the shot rolling. Yep. What? Kaito, are you done now? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I feel so freaking bad for Kaito. Damn it. So it's true then? I freaking feel You're horrible. Saying Kaede really is the culprit? Ugh. <sighs> So that means most of Kaede's sins were committed right before Shuichi's eyes. But he didn't... he... While it was in front of Shuichi, it wasn't like... He was just having a good time sort of thing and didn't actually... Was also didn't want to believe the truth, too. That's correct. I was with her in the classroom. And when she moved the vent grate aside. And when she lined up the books on top of the bookcase. Hmm. Yeah, we already read this. This is nothing! I just gotta try a little harder. Hmm. And it was the same when you took the murder weapon, wasn't it? You took the shot put ball when you got the cameras for Mew, right, Kaede? Yep. Because we had to investigate that while we waited for him. Luigi was already at the door of the warehouse waiting for me. I shoved the things I was holding into my backpack and ran after him. So you were hiding it the entire time? Where would she have even hidden it? In her backpack? Or well, it could be in one place. Her skirt! I kind of want to see what the answer, what happens if I answer this. I got to see. No, I don't even want to think about that. <laughs> Why are you blushing? Are you thinking pervy thoughts, you effing beta virgin? <laughs> Everyone's staring at me. I screwed up. They No, they think you're a perv. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. I freaking had to. She was carrying the shot put ball in there. Despite its weight, it would have been easy to carry in a backpack. I noticed you also had a spare vest, which you could have wrapped it in. That would prevent the cameras you were carrying from being damaged. And that means... All of this happened right in front of Shuichi. But we should not blame him for that. Mm -hmm. None of those actions warranted suspicion at the time, so we might not have noticed. Exactly. That clears it all up then. Every part of the crime Kaede plotted. That can't be. It's gotta be mistake, right? But if all of that is true, then that's pretty unfortunate. I mean, it's Kaede, you know? Man, when even Kokichi is freaking saying that, that is sad. She kept preaching about working together, and then she goes and kills in cold blood! Yeah. No, something still doesn't fit. Hmm, what doesn't fit? Kaede wouldn't do something like that. Yeah. Huh? You mean she's not the type? But you were the one that said she did it, right? Yes, I did say that. But murder and cold blood is just not in her character. I truly believe that. I believe in her. But 
Why? Why do you still believe in me, Shuichi? Why? Tell me why! Why are you doing this? Are you still looking away from the truth? Oh, jeez. Not at all. My belief in you is going to lead me to the truth. I'll show you what's behind all this. I'll show you your truth. I know this is getting crazy, right? It's been freaking crazy for like an hour! <laughs> freaking hell! <sighs> oh, it's time for another tutorial. Your opponent is on the ropes, but they're in argument armament mode and won't listen to you. You have to remove their armaments to refute what they are saying. That's how arm argument armaments works. Get it? Because it's an armament? Armor? Mm -hmm. Oh no. Oh no. Not not a rhythm thing. The objective is to destroy all your foe's armaments, then strike the finishing blow. I see rhythm. Got fever time, rhythm button, a bunch of rhythm buttons, and then controls. So there's only two controls. You match the rhythm to shoot down your opponent's statements to damage the armament. The markers on top of your opponent's statements are called rhythm sights. Right when the gauge makes one revolution, press the correct button to shoot the statement. When damaged enough, their armament will break and the music will change. The tempo will also pick up, so match that timing! <laughs> Can't get on rhythm? Try pressing R to activate Fever Time. During Fever Time, you will be invincible! Then you can press any button! You can only activate it when your focus gauge is f or focus energy is full, so watch it carefully! Oops, I just missed some button. Um, you can only act watch it carefully. When your opponent's armament is destroyed, you can give your final argument. Your argument will be displayed with four words. <sighs> In the meat bone, or whatever. Frickin' ugh, I hated that so much. <laughs> Press the buttons in the correct order to land the finishing blow. Ugh, man, I hated that so much. Use split-second logic to refute your opponent's final argument. As always, it was a pleasure. Alright, argument armament start. You still believe in me? I'm definitely the culprit. You think I wouldn't do it? It's all my fault! You still believe in me? Oops. I'm the one who killed Rantaro! That's the truth of this case! That's all there is to it! I'm a terrible what? murderer. I've betrayed I missed. everyone. I'm the one who killed Rantaro. That's the truth Oops. of this case. And that's all there is to it. Please stop. Just stop. Remember Oops. what I told you? You have to fight for the truth. Shuichi, Oops. I know you can do this. If you say you believe in me, then... Don't look away from the truth! Please stop! Just stop! Remember what I told you? You have to fight for the truth. Shuichi... Oh, come on. Okay, I see what you gotta do there. If you say you believe in me, then... Do you know what I was trying to do? Kill the... <laughs> Just stop! Remember what I told you? Uh. Do you know what I was trying to do? Kill the master mind. Damn. You weren't persuaded by Monokuma. And you weren't trying to save yourself. 
what you were trying to do was kill the mastermind. Kill the mastermind? Kaede wasn't targeting Rantaro. She was targeting the mastermind. She was trying to end this killing game. She was trying to save us all. Isn't that right, Kaede? I see! Otherwise, everyone would have died when the time limit expired. So, she tried to end the killing game by killing the mastermind? But it's all my fault. Kaede trusted my detective skills. Yeah. I told her the mastermind might be there. And that's why she set that trap. It's all my fault. She trusted my detective work and I screwed it up. Stop. It's not true. Please, don't say it's your fault. It'll be harder for me. None of this is your fault. It's mine. Everything's my fault. Kaede. Shuichi, can I ask you to do one last favor for me? Can you end all of this? Hmm. What? I want you to reveal everything that happened and convince everyone. And then, I want you to end this. That's my final wish. I understand. I'll end all of this. I'll reveal everything. The truth and the lies. I want to help. I want to help you grant Kaede's wish. I will now explain the closing argument. The final piece of detective work to end this trial. In the closing argument, you will wrap up the case. You'll have to reproduce the order of the events in the case in the form of a comic book. But this recreation is just Shuichi's deduction so there are gaps here and there. Gaps are areas where a number of pieces are missing. After selecting the panels with the uh, D-pad, press L on t press L to move the cursor. If you don't press, you move L. Whatever, over the gaps, and then fit the panel in the empty spaces with the triangle. Only the correct panel will fit. Compare the empty space hints with the stock panel hints to complete the comic. There will be some panels that you cannot select at first. Filling in some gaps correctly will unlock the other panels. Press L and R to switch pages and start filling in as many as you can. Thank you. Thank you. Are you freaking kidding me? I have to unlock those? Where's Mew? Correct. What did the culprit do with the library vents? Prop the vent. Great. 
what did the culprit do with the modified camera? Let's see, what did I unlock? Hope the encyclopedia. What did the culprit set up last? Open the encyclopedia. What did the culprit do to modify the camera? Okay, it must be that one if, uh... Oh, wait, nope. Turn on the flash function. Alright, so all the panels are unlocked. Case returns to its original position. What happened in the classroom one hour before the time on it? Killing game promotional video. What? I, 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 no, it wasn't that. Where was the shot put ball? Rolled where the vent was. Where's the vent? Bow to me. <laughs> In the classroom vent. Uh, whose picture was taken with the camera? Rantaro notices the flash. Why wasn't the sound of the... And that was definitely... The Killing Game promotional video plays at a loud volume. After the receiver went off, what did Shuichi see in the library? Is this it? Security sensor receiver goes off after reach. Yeah, I figured that was going. <laughs> I'm gonna lose because I only got one heart left after realizing it. I'll I'll go back to those. Okay, who wanted to fight against Monokuma after hearing? Oh, Kaido, Ganta, and Tenko. Yeah. Who asked to modify the cameras? Bow to Mew Iruma. Ruma. Bleh. Okay, I got two left, so security sensor goes off as one. What happened in the classroom one hour before the time limit? Where's the other question mark? See the bookcase. See the bookcase return to its original position, and finally, security sensor receiver goes off. This is the truth of the case. Let's go. It all began two days prior, when Monokuma gave us the additional motive. The time limit added to this killing game triggered the crime. After the announcement, some of us decided to form groups to plan our next move. I had my own plan to find the mastermind, and someone offered to help me. Hmm. At the time, I never would have imagined they would become the culprit. To expose the mastermind, the culprit and I set up hidden cameras in the library. There was a hidden door in the library that showed signs of use. We deduced that the Mastermind would return there to let Monokuma out. The next day, we asked Mew if she could modify some cameras for our trap. We then went to the warehouse to gather the necessary materials. All we needed were disposable cameras and a security sensor. But the culprit found something else there. The murder weapon. That's right. The shot put ball. They put the cameras, as well as the shot, in their backpack. 
Then, on the day the time limit would expire, the day of the murder, the culprit and I collected the modified cameras from you and visited the library. Once there, we searched the room for ideal locations to place the cameras. But even then, the culprit was preparing the murder. They began by removing the vent grate and laid it inside the air duct. Then, they moved the pile of books on top of the bookcase pretending to organize them. After that, they placed open encyclopedias on the final bookcase. It appeared innocuous enough, but it was actually a path for the murder weapon. The culprit also tampered with the hidden camera linked to the security sensor. I was responsible for setting up the other cameras, but that one, I didn't even notice their trick. They used duct tape to keep the flash function on. Wow. After the cameras were set, the culprit and I climbed the stairs to the first floor classroom. We kept a lookout for the others and waited for the security sensor to go off. During the stakeout, we saw Kaito and six others go down to the basement. Rantaro was with them, the first victim. After watching that group into the game room, I returned to the classroom. With about one hour remaining, the security receiver I was holding went off. I assumed it was the mastermind, so I ran out of the classroom to the library. I was in such a hurry, I left the culprit behind. Looking back on it now, that was the last chance I had to stop the murder. After I had left, the culprit took the shot football out of their backpack and rolled it into the classroom vent. This set the murder in motion. Rantaro had moved the bookcase, triggering the receiver. Unbeknownst to him, the trap had been sprung. Investigates the camera. First, the modified camera took a picture of Rantaro with the flash on. Then investigates the camera. Rantaro noticed the flash and approached the bookcase to inspect the camera. The camera flash lured Rantaro directly into the murder weapon's path. The shot the culprit tossed into the vent rolled through the air duct. Bum, 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 the library's vent and kept rolling atop the bookcase. Opening the vent grate and organizing the books was all to create a path. Under normal circumstances, the victim would have been alerted by the noise. but the promotional video was masking the sound of the shot rolling. Bum, 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 bum. The shot kept rolling, then fell on Rantaro's head, killing him instantly. By the time we had entered the room, the murder was complete. I imagine, seeing Rantaro's body, the culprit probably thought... That's the mastermind. The mastermind is dead. The game is over. Now we can all go home. 
but their wish didn't come true because Rantaro wasn't the mastermind. It was murder in an attempt to save all our lives. That is the truth. <laughs> That's the truth behind your lies, Kaede Akamatsu. The ultimate pianist. Break. And that concludes the events of this case. Oh man. I don't know what's harder for Gaiety or if it's harder for Suichi because his freaking uh like after reading the two his two events or whatever, uh for the uh for the free time, it's like he wanted to uncover the truth but the truth led to hurt people pretty much and that's pretty much what's happening right now and that that's hard no Kayede did it damn it it is a truth I do not wish to accept but since Shuichi has brought everything to light He really is the ultimate detective. We can at least try to trust the Kaede we've come to know up to this point. The Kaede we've come to know? Even if she did commit a crime, what Kaede has said to us is not a lie. She wanted to protect us, and I firmly believe that to be the truth. If that was a lie too, it'd be the last straw for me. I'd have nothing left to believe in. Hmm. You guys are so nice. Even though I betrayed you all. No! That's not true, Kaede! You were trying to save all of us. Nice job, Shuichi. I didn't expect any less. What? You were super reliable back there. But you still have a long way to go. You need to be more assertive. Yep. If you did that more often, you'd be a pretty cool guy. Hmm. Kaede, why? Why are you smiling like that? Why are you still trying to get me to be brave? Why, Kaede? Why are you thinking about everyone except yourself? Hmm. If you had just been less selfless, he wouldn't have had to murder. Why? Why do you do that? I'm sorry. Stop, stop, stop! At least save it for the end of the trial! Sheesh! Jeez, talk about butting in at the last moment. Looks like the debate's finished, so that means it's voting time! All right, you bastards! Press the button in front of you to cast your vote! Say that all nonchalantly. And make sure y'all vote, because refusing to vote is grounds for termination. <sighs> At last! The heart-racing excitement as the blackened and the spotless finally face off! It's voting time! Wow, we actually even get to choose who to vote for. Well, I'm not gonna do the whole look, I'm voting for myself. Although I wonder what happens if you don't vote for seems the voting is finished. Now then, let's see the result. I wonder what happens if you get one vote <laughs> to someone else. Who the hell voted for me? Who'll be 
chosen as the Blackened. Will you make the right choice? Or the dreadfully wrong one? They already chose. Didn't you see the screen? Holy crap, it feels like a freaking casino. How did I get a freaking A in everything when I did so horribly wrong with, like, that and stuff? And even getting a retry, too, I still get a freaking A. That's... that's something. And a miss. What... what's the miss for, by the way? <laughs> I got 300... holy freaking crap! Look at that freaking coinage! <sighs> Well, at this point, it goes without saying, but you all voted correctly. The Blackened who killed Rantaro Hamami is the ultimate pianist, Kaede Akamatsu. I'm glad. Good. What? What? Good? Don't screw around! What do you mean, good? Is this how you want it to end? That's not true. Not really, but it could have turned out a lot worse. So this is fine too. I don't get it. It's not fine. This is super horrible. The worst ever. <laughs> yeah. How did it come to this? Please. Kaidi. What would possess you to do something like this? <sighs> Gunta not no can accept this. Not unless you explain. Real? Yeah, I won't be satisfied until I hear it straight from you. Hey! Kaidi, please. <sighs> okay, please allow me a few moments of your time then. It's just like Lu Suichi said, I was after the mastermind this entire time. I wanted to kill the Mastermind, and I thought doing that would end the killing game. But... But why did you try to kill them? Maybe they could have been captured! Um... If it hadn't been for the time limit, I probably would have done that. But the time limit meant that capturing the Mastermind was less likely to work, you know? You know. Because the Mastermind could have just played dumb to run out the clock and kill us all. Yeah. I... was worried about that happening. Therefore... So you sought to kill the Mastermind instead. That's right. I had made up my mind just before we set up the cameras in the library. I thought it was my last chance to save everyone. I couldn't let the chance pass by me. I had to save everyone no matter what. Even if you had to kill someone? Yeah. That's right. I thought that killing the Mastermind was our best shot at escaping this place together. I... I really believed it, too. Kaede. But... Oh, Kaede. It never dawned on you? As soon as... That thought entered your head. Monokuma had you right where he wanted. Because what mattered most to Monokuma is that kill the killing game had started. Really don't get it. Regardless of your reasons, the moment you felt the urge to kill, you had already lost. You agreed to be part of this killing game when you allowed murder to fill your heart. Wait. Wait. To put it like that... <laughs> But he's not wrong. She's the reason the killing game finally started. Uh, no. But 
If Kaede hadn't done anything, we'd all be dead by now. Right. Kaede save everyone. We no can blame her. I know that. I know. You don't need to remind me. That's why I'm so pissed off. Pissed off at myself for being so, so useless. Um. Kokichi, that's enough. I can see through your act. Man. Whoops. That obvious, huh? <laughs> that's right. But Kokichi is right. I was being played. And I didn't even kill the mastermind. I killed one of our dear friends instead. What I did was so terrible. So unforgivable. I took an innocent life. I'm nothing but a horrible murderer. You should all hate, blame, and be disgusted by me. Wait! Kaede, please calm down. After we found Rantaro's body, when I realized he wasn't the mastermind, I thought about ending this by confessing to you what I had done, but I couldn't because of Monokuma's first blood perk. And if she had spoken up, Monokuma would have kicked her out pretty much. Your... I see. If you'd confess there, and then, you would have been able to leave. But you decided you couldn't leave this place by yourself. So you kept quiet. Because of the first blood perk, you were forced to hide the truth from us. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. I see. So the first blood perk worked against the blackened rather than for them. Uh. But at the same time, I thought, if I did this for everyone, then instead of making things easier by confessing, I thought I should lie to you all so it would motivate you to keep moving forward. Then? Is that the reason for the trial? To reveal the mastermind? Because... I felt like if I didn't do this, then Rantaro's death would have been meaningless. Well then. We were searching for both the culprit and the mastermind during this class trial. Oh yeah! Ah, Kaede did mention that. But that's why I want to end all of the terrible things happening to us. I'll defeat the mastermind and end this dumb killing game. I'll... I'll even use this class trial to do that. I... I never wanted to keep my crime a secret. I was going to tell you all eventually. But before I did, I wanted to expose the mastermind first. Then the killing game would have ended, and everyone but me would be saved. I thought that was the best way I could atone for killing Rintaro. Sorry. This is my fault. I was wrong. There was no mastermind. What? You were wrong? But didn't you say the mastermind was one of us? Uh, okay. That's what I thought at first. But in the end, we have nothing. No one made any moves at the time limit. The trial was useless. Let's see. Even when Su Shuichi was about to be voted as the Blackened, still, they did not appear. Maybe. Yeesh. That was seriously a close one. If Kaede had just kept her mouth shut, we'd all be dead right now. No way. There has to be something else we can discuss. We just gotta think. Right, Shuichi? But... On the other hand, she's only in this mess because she decided to say something at that moment. That's... I wanted to protect Kaede, but I also wanted to unmask the mastermind. But even when the killer was about to be condemned, they remained hidden. Sorry. That has to mean that among the master that the mastermind is not among us after all what 
So Kaede had the wrong idea the whole time? I see. All her actions were taken under Shuichi's flawed logic. Uh, okay. That's why it's my fault. All of this happened because of my detective work being wrong. If I hadn't been so stupid, if I never said anything about a mastermind to Kaede, Rintaro wouldn't have died, and Kaede wouldn't be a murderer. This is all my fault! That's wrong! No, it's not! Huh? Kaede? Because... I killed him. Not you. Right? Right? Didn't I? But... But Kaede, why do you, did you set such a con convoluted trap? If your intent was to kill the mastermind, there was no reason for you to cover your tracks. Jeez. Isn't it obvious? It's because she didn't want Shuichi to know. Huh? Me? Yeah. Of course. But I didn't want everyone else to know either. Because I said I wanted to escape this place with everyone. Because... But you guys wouldn't want to be friends with a girl who killed someone. Would you? <laughs> be... Friends? <laughs> Kaede put a lot of thought into this. Mm. She put so much thought into it, this, it drove her to commit murder like a lunatic. <laughs> God, you're such a dumbass. Yeah. I know, right? I'm such an idiot. However, we only survived the time limit because of that idiocy. Right! Yes! We still alive thanks to you! Kaede, I didn't know how, but I wanted to get out of here with you. I wanted to be friends. Sorry. I'm sorry. Damn. So you're saying, everything you did was because you were thinking of us, and you hid that you killed him just to stay and help us. How did things... Hi, hello! All right, all right, that's it. <laughs> What? What? What do you mean? What do you mean, that's it? Ah! Father? Are you getting bored? That's right! You know how Pops gets. He can't stand this kind of tearjerker schlock. <gasps> I can't stop crying! <laughs> I see nothing gets past my adorable little cubs. <laughs> I don't even let appetizers get past me, especially if someone else bought them. Now then. But we can't let this boring display grind the action to a halt, so... Time to make things interesting. Huh? Make things... interesting? Thrills, chills, kills! There's that saying. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. Punishment time! <laughs> punishment? You mean... Kaede's execution? Don't screw around! No freaking way! There's no way we'll let you do that! Hey! Exisos, assemble! <laughs> punishment time is a sacred segment! You're not allowed to interfere! And if you even try to interfere, we'll just crush you with these here exosols. It's cruel, but it's probably better if one person dies instead of everyone. Like hell am I just gonna sit here and do what you say? Kaede fought with her life on the line, and so mm. will I! Gonta will face you all. Times like this are why Gonta became strong. Gentlemen never back down. And neither will Gonta. This is the perfect chance to test out my Neo Aikido skills on machines. Yeah, I'll help. I can. Kaede's gonna say stop. Everyone, stop! Stop it. Please. Just stop. Kaede? I. Enough, you guys. I've already prepared myself. You're giving up? Why? 
But why? You said you'd never give up. That we'd get out of here together. That's what you said, Katie. Damn it! So why are you giving up now? Did you mean what you said? I know we can do something. Don't give up until the end. No. I'm not giving up. Because I have you. Huh? What? You know? Even after I'm gone, my wish will still be here. So I'm counting on you all. I'm entrusting my wish to every one of you. I believe in you! I believe that you will all make it through this somehow. You have to live! You better live. Don't go dying on me now. It's a promise. Oops. In this ridiculous killing game, survive and get the hell out of this place. And then, be friends after you escape, okay? I think you all will be best friends. Yeah. Affirmative, Kaede. I shall take that request. I will do my utmost to fulfill your final request. <laughs> I won't give up. I'll get out of here, no matter what. <sighs> Gonta, work very hard and keep friends safe till very end. Bye. Well, Kaede, you definitely were weren't boring. Well now. Now then, let's get started. Now then, I prepared a very special punishment for the ultimate pianist, Kaede Akamatsu. Wait a second, Kaede, please, don't. Hey, Shuichi, you better not lose. You can't lose. To this killing game, I know you can do beat it. I believe in you guys, so please, believe in yourself. It's a promise. Okay? Wait. What? The moment it w the moment it was over, I felt my legs give out under me. What I just saw didn't feel real. As if all reality had vanished and the only thing left was a fictional world. Real or not, Kaede was gone. Kaede Kaede Akamatsu no longer existed in our world. Yeah. Huh? What the? Why is Mono Kid? Yeah. Mono Dam? What have you done? 
Ah, gross. She puked again. Oh, well. But this tension, it ain't so bad, you know. Finally, it feels like a proper killing game. If anything, we could stand to use a little more tension in our lives, right, Dad? No! My sweet darling Mono Kid claimed this collateral damage. This is a nightmare. This is unacceptable. My precious cub is. Ah. On second thought, I guess it's okay. After all, I still got four more cubs. Wow, what an ass. Phew, I'm glad you kids came in bulk. Huh? It's okay? I'm shocked. Our existence means that little, huh? What's done is done. What's dead is dead. No point crying over crushed cubs. <laughs> Unless you want to end up like these sad sacks. But how? What? What in the world is this? Really? Are you effing kidding me? Talk about overkill. Amen. Atua. Please grant Kaede's soul eternal repose. I... I can't believe this happened to Kaede. I liked her so m much No, you didn't. <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> All this adrenaline creates such an exquisite feeling of despair. It's moments like this that make all things worth killing. This is... I said that wrong, but I, it came out right still, kinda. Why are you doing such a terrible thing? How dare you! You're the worst of the worst! Does human life have no value to you at all? Hey, um... Hey, I know human life is precious. I'm not a monster, you know. <laughs> Because if human life wasn't precious, ending it would be nearly as wouldn't be nearly as fun. Extreme! There's no greater joy than witnessing such a display of despair entertainment. <laughs> You've surpassed psychotic by a wide margin. What now? I don't think I've ever felt quite this irritated. You? I... I won't forgive you for this. Got that? I won't ever forgive you. Oh! Spoken like a marked man. Excuse me. What is your objective, Monokuma? What are you trying to pull? Do you hate us? If so, have we done something to make you hate us? Huh? Hate you? <laughs> Who can say? Um... That's your job to figure out. If you really want to know what's going on, you're going to have to work for it. Well... Though the corpse formerly known as Rantaro may have had a hunch. Huh? Damn. Frickin' yeah, because he was in there. What is it? What do you mean? What was Rantaro's hunch? <laughs> what indeed? That is... He did say he would end this game, and he also knew about the hidden door. Could that be at all related to this hunch you claimed he had? <laughs> oh, I wonder. Why you? Hey, what the hell's this hunch you're going on about? Spill it! <laughs> I wonder. He's gonna keep just saying that. <sighs> if you have no intention on, of telling us, then keep your mouth shut. Cause! You're focusing on Kaede instead of her Wait, victim. Well... It's not his fault he was useless. He died before his talent could even be revealed. If he had lived long enough to reveal it, maybe he would have been more useful. Too bad! Oh, well. He's dead and that's that. That's the indifference of death for ya. However... He... Wasn't really the mastermind, was he? You're really bugging me. Huh? Are you still pestering me with these annoying questions? And another thing. 
Aren't you guys focusing a little too much on whether or not there's a mastermind? If you keep this up, you're all gonna end up like Kaede. What? Here. Maybe spend less time worrying about nonsense and more time watching your back, okay? Right. You never know who's gonna become the next killer. <laughs> Looking forward to it. <sighs> I can't wait. I wonder what kind of killing game we'll get to see next. <sighs> Damn it. You may have gotten us this time, but we'll get you next time. You'll see. We'll get you... I'll get you next time, Gadget. Or whatever the claw says. Why? Why are you all psyched up? That's nice. It's nice to see at least one of you who has some... Sh Shutspa? Shutspa? What? Around here. I have a feeling you're gonna live for a while. Thanks. Thanks. I'll do my best. Don't screw around. Shut the hell up. We're not gonna have another killing game. I, Kaito Momota, am not gonna let you have your way anymore. Got it? I'm gonna punch that grin right off your face for sure. Is that so? Oh, really? That seems unlikely. I'm pretty sure you won't live long enough to do that. Damn. Well. Anyway, you guys have a lot to think about. <laughs> Work hard and do your best to graduate, cause the fun's only just begun. Hey. Hey, Monodam, explain yourself. Hmm. I get the, that. Mono Kid was obnoxious and rude, but that was way over the line. Because I did it for us. Damn. Ah. Hey, wait, Mono Dam. Where are you going? It's getting interesting. He probably killed him as payback for all the bullying. What an interesting turn of events. Hmm. And with that, Monokuma and the cups left, and only rema we remained in the courtroom. I... I don't think I can take all this. I can't stand this anymore. I... I feel like I'm going to go crazy. No. Sumugi, you mustn't give up hope. Mm. Is there even hope to be had here? The room feels utterly drained of it. <sighs> Kaidi! What kind of degenerate male cries in public? It's so rude! Um. But Tenko, you're crying too. Hey. Now's not the time to point that out, Kibo. Just let it be. Prayer time! In times like this, we should pray for Kaede's soul, so she can rest in peace. What? How's anyone supposed to rest in peace after kill getting killed like that? I don't know. What are we gonna do from now on? <sighs> yeah, I'd like to know too. I'm so over this already. That's enough! Shut up, shut up! You all just need to shut up! Kaido's voice boomed in the air, and the room went silent. Damn! Every single one of you, and your meek little complaints... Shut up! You're pissing me the hell off! Damn it! But the one who's pissing me the most off... Dumbass! ...is you, Shuichi! Huh? What? Damn! He just freaking punched the hell out of him. Clench your teeth! Kaito, you are supposed to say that before you hit him. <laughs> Did you hear what Kaede said? She said she believed in you. That she passed her wish on to you. But what the hell's wrong with you? You didn't say a damn thing to Monokuma. You call yourself a man? Damn it. 
What's the matter? Say something already! Dumbass! I just hit you! Aren't you pissed off? What's your problem? <sighs> Enough, Kaido. Sucker punching is pretty low, even for a low-life degenerate male like you. Listen up! You better knock it off, or I'm gonna explode my Neo Aikido all over your face. <laughs> fine. Are you okay? Shuichi. Uh, okay. I'm fine. For now. Please stop. This sort of altercation is just a waste of time. Mm. Gonta, not sure it's waste of time. But Gonta agree. Fighting not good. Then? Can we leave now? Staying here will only make us more depressed. <laughs> well put. I agree wholeheartedly. Sorry. Sorry. You all should be... should go ahead without me. Um... Why? Is there a reason you wish to stay in a place like this? Uh, um... I want to be alone for a while. Just for a little bit. But... But we can't leave you here by your... No. Smoogie, perhaps it would be best if we allow him some privacy for now. <gasps> oh. Okay. I suppose. Um... Shuichi, don't beat yourself up. Okay? That's coming a lot. That's a lot coming from Tinko. Yeah. Yep. Just hit the reset button on your feelings, and you'll feel happy and cheerful in no time! Listen. Being a tad insensitive is important for survival. It helps one avoid suicidal thoughts. Hey! Gonta will go back, too. Let Gonta know if you need his help, okay? One by one? Everyone climbed aboard the elevator. Except... I mean... Suichi. I don't know how well you knew Kaede. But why don't you try going to her ultimate lab? Huh? What do you mean? That's right. Monokuma set up the room, so there's probably not a lot there to remember her by. But... There should at least be a bunch of little things she liked. Uh, okay. Things Kaede liked? Listen up. Understand? There's only one way to get through this awful feeling. No one's gonna be able to console you if you're just sitting here alone. I mean... If anyone's gonna help you, it'll be her. In your memories. With those words... He stepped onto the elevator. Before I realized it, I got to my feet. I just started walking, and I was headed toward the Ultimate Pianist's research lab. Never even went in here, actually. It's not as if there would be any memories here. After all, she never did come in here. But these are the things she was always... She was really passionate about. And that's good enough for now. What a magnificent piano. I would have liked to hear her play it. If only just once. Huh, that reminds me. The song that Kaede was talking about. Of course! It must be here somewhere! I stood in front of the shelves of CDs and searched each one thoroughly, end to end. It should be here somewhere. Where is it? Ah! Here it is! This is it! I took the CD from the shelf and accidentally pressed the screen on accident. Uh, placed it in the player in the corner. Soon, a soft melody had filled the classroom. My body relaxed, totally enveloped in the music. It was a strange feeling, the sound seeping into my body. Before long, I began to close my eyes. 
I wish there was a piano here. I would play you a song to help you cheer up. Hmm, a pretty song to play for you. Oh, like Claire de Lune by Debussy. It's a soothing song that calms your heart, like the moon's reflection on water. <laughs> you noticed, huh? Yeah, I'm shaking too. But I'd be a mess if you weren't here. Hmm. I wouldn't have been able to do anything. I would have been so lost. I'm glad you're here with me, Shuichi. With you by my side, I feel like I can stand up to anything. You give me the courage I need to take on the Mastermind. So please, be more confident. I believe in you, so you should definitely believe in yourself. Yeah, I'll try. I don't know if I can do it, but... No, I'll do it. I have to believe in myself. I won't be afraid anymore. I will face the truth for everyone. I won't give up for your sake, Kaede. I promise. From the bottom of my heart, I promise you, Kaede. Yep, that's our promise. I'm leaving everything up to you, Shuichi. Goodbye. Hmm. And that's the end. Holy crap. That... A very special class trial. Holy shit. <laughs> I... That was definitely very unsuspected like i i didn't expect that i pretty sure some people could have caught that but it's like i was thinking like throughout the case it's like well there's only two people that could have done it because you didn't expect i didn't expect the protagonist the protagonist that you were currently playing as being the one to uh being the one to uh yeah So, yeah, this has gone on for almost four, well, actually, I also have that beginning of the video that I gotta edit in at the very beginning, so, this has gone on for like four hours. That is the longest class trial I think I've ever played, and, uh, that's coming from, uh, the first trial, so this is gonna be a freaking long game. <laughs> well, I hope y'all enjoyed and I will catch y'all next time. And I hope you all have a great day.